Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Welcome to this edition of Habs Fan TV. Streaming live, the Columbus Blue Jackets versus Montreal Canadiens, guys. Well, can't get worse than last night, right? So let's see what it gives tonight. I uh, hope you guys are joining us for this one. I know there's going to be some NFL on. That's why in the top right-hand corner right here, I've included um, the scores. So hopefully, should make everything uh, easy for everyone to watch both games to a good extent. Hope you guys can see it. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys are going to enjoy tonight. Uh, Costa is going to be us with us within a minute. Hi. And actually, he's here. Here we are. Mr. Constantinos is here. It's Welcome, Constantinos. Salutations. Salutations. I said hi to your grandfather. Cool. Upstairs. Cool. How is he doing? He is doing wonderful. He's oh, he started the stream? Yes, yes, indeed. We, we have no time to waste, sir. That's uh, indeed what we have to do. Oh, sorry. Sorry, everyone. We're just going to fix this up real quickly. Um, right there. There we go. Sorry. That's how we get to have the beautiful scoreboard for you guys. Just gonna fix that up. All right. Spud Lee is in the chat. Welcome back. Goat Slushy is here. Welcome back. Um, Costa, uh, Stephanie asks, did you put Burrow eight and a half? Did you put it? I, I chickened out and I didn't bet anything. Wow. I know. I know. I was like. I no. can't believe we have some chickens in the house with us. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Well, so you know I what? I'm, I'm not better. I'm not better though. I almost forgot. And then the bets that I still put still managed to hit. So yeah, that was right. the good news. Uh, Gab still still. Salut. Salut à toi aussi. Yes, there should be in there. And if there's not, it's over there. There probably isn't. So there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Spud Lee, like, subscribe, like, subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot to cover tonight. Uh, pretty eventful day. We even brought notes with us. That's how much there is to cover tonight. Um, Goat Slushy sells, uh, says, tell Costa that the Chiefs lost. The Chiefs lost? They lost to the Bengals, yeah. Oh, no, no, that's I, I'm, a, I'm a Niners fan. Oh, day, he's a Niners fan. He's I don't mind about that. Uh, or all. maybe or maybe he's saying that the Chiefs are going to lose. I'm not sure. Wait, wait, let's check the scores. Well, it's actually right there. I, I made it quite simple for us. No, I'm saying the full scores. What do you mean the full score? What do you mean? Right here. Yeah, that's one game. This uh, the, the, other, game. the other game, Costa, is over. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to see the final oh. score. I didn't oh, see okay, it. Okay, Costa. 27 to 24. That's Bengals. Really? I mean... There we go, yeah. and we're underway here at the Bell Center. Let's go. All right. Paul Byron is back in the lineup, guys. Um, I'll read to you guys the lineup for tonight. So the lineup is as follows. Lekin and Suzuki to Foley. Second line, Byron, Evans, Anderson. Third line, Hoffman, Dauphin, Gallagher. And the last line, Pitlick. Why is Pitlick being put on the fourth line with Paling and Pizzetta? So there you go. Wait, was Pitlick the guy we got from Minnesota? Yeah, and okay, he's our yeah, top yeah. scorer at this point. So yeah, very interesting. Let's uh, let's refresh, see what's going on here. There we go. Oh, got a hair in my, in my mouth. Let's oh, thank see. You, thank you, Costa. Yes, yes, yes. I'm giving you guys all the information. Thank you, Look at this. Above and beyond, guys. Yeah, we have uh, we have everything here. Shout out to Stephanie. Can you guys see it? Yeah, they can. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about a very important part. Although the game has just so, started, the Carey Price press conference. So we need to talk about that. Did you guys watch it? If you guys saw it, let us know what you guys thought. Um, but uh, my, my perspective is this. Um, obviously, you know, he's definitely not going to give all the answers. Uh, not that he was evasive in his questions, but you know, he, he likes to keep things to himself and you know, that's his way of doing things. Um, I think that there is, I think it was quite clear to me that he probably wants to stay no matter what. I think he made it quite clear that his family's happy being here uh, and everything. But what concerns me the most is he's showing a lot of signs that his uh, injury progress is not going. Oh, wait, the Canadian scored! 
<laughs> Suzuki! <laughs> Suzuki! <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's I, go! I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Suzuki makes it one nothing Canadians. There we go. Whoa! Beauty. What a way to we start couldn't the even game. get we couldn't even get the final score predictions up. But you know what? We're gonna have to. Okay, let's get the final score predictions. Okay, out let's of the way. get that out of the way, and then Mom, we'll talk yeah, about the price. Thank you. We'll talk about the price thing. Um. Um. So we've got a goal from Suzuki here. Pass right in front from Toffoli, scramble in front, and Suzuki on his knee manages just to jam it in there. You got a, uh, yeah, really terrible goaltending, and it hits, <laughs> it actually, so that Suzuki hits goal. it right in front of the slot, and it hits off a of Blue Jackets player's skate and goes in. So there you have it. That is a very bad goal, very but it, it, goal. It, it's fun. We, we'll take it's it. It's good. We'll take it. We'll take it. Beautiful. I say uh, Blue Jackets win 3-2. Yeah. 3-2. Wow. Well, there you have it. What do you think? The uh, Canadians are up and running. Wow. What do you think? Uh, Final scores. Canadians, I think, are going to be... Um, I think it's going to be... Uh, I think they're going to win tonight. I think it's going to be 3-1 Canadians. Who's in goal? In, in, oh, no, wait. Okay, no, in no, no. Goal, in goal for... Um, it's K Kapaskinen, I think. That's it. I check my notes. We got to check our notes, guys. Yeah, we came prepared. Notes. Um, it's um, Corp Corpusalo. Corpusalo, oh, I think, is in that tonight. Oh, Corpusalo, yeah. Or actually, I don't think Merzlinks Mer is playing tonight. At least not what I saw. Merzlinkins. Yeah. Merzlinkins. 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 So yeah. Um, but yes, I think three two. It, se it seems it seems reasonable. You seem like a reasonable guy. As a I, I wouldn't have a reason not to trust you. But so. anyways, I want to go back to the Carey Price thing, guys. Go ahead. Let it rip. I think Carey Price... First of all, I thought Carey Price was going to like announce a retirement or something. The way they announced that conference, it was just Carey Price press conference, 6.15 p.m. on a Sunday. Like That's all we had. It could have... Couldn't be more mysterious than that. Mm -hmm. It could have at least said like it's his injury update or like him just saying hi to the fans again. But it literally was just a PR thing for the fans to know what's up with Carey Price. Yeah, that's what it basically was. I don't think there was anything new that we learned uh, today, honestly. Um, I, I think it just gave more of the fans an idea that, you know, Carey Price is still a part of this team uh, and he's trying his best. But yeah, showed a lot of... Um, Showed a lot of anxiety based on... He says the next month is crucial. Uh, next month being crucial, we don't know why it's crucial. Uh, I don't know why a single journalist just couldn't ask him, what is his injury? Like, flat out. Is but it, you but know, doesn't the, have to do with the Kreider no, thing? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. You don't know... We don't even know which knee is the one that's injured. We don't... We know absolutely nothing. We don't know if it's ACL, I thought it was MCL. just a recurring injury he's had for the last few years with the same knee. But it, I don't know. It, I mean... If you, but it would still be interesting to know what procedure did you go under? Did you go under the ACL, MCL? No, no journalist in Montreal knows, and no, uh, and none of us know because, well, they're just not telling us. So but then again, when we got, when the journalists got into that press conference, they had no idea what to expect. If you saw the first few questions, they were like asking him about ever returning in the first place or if you wanted to get traded because that's literally what everybody's been talking about that's fair us. that's fair but but I, I think at the same time it, it would it would be correct for them to tell what is his injury i agree, I, agree. I, I i don't understand you know paul byron we said he had a hip injury you know hips there isn't that much moving components to it it's a hip injury with carry price knee injury well you know what it, it's interesting to know because rehabilitation for knee injuries yes they're known to be very long some could be very strenuous. Uh, it doesn't always go well, but it would still be interesting to know what's going on. Let us know what you guys think. I, I think Alex should become a doctor and then do the examinations sure. for Mr. Carey Price Look, and then tell us. I, th I think it's just it's time for them to be a little bit more. Oh, oh what a goal. top corner goal! What a goal! That was a snipe. And by that's Ryan. and that's a goal Patrick from Patrick Lane. Patrick Lane. Patrick Laney, Laney, Lane. I can never know how to pronounce it. And Sherrod is absolutely this living. This guy, Patrick Lane, Laney, I, I still don't know how to pronounce his name, is one of the most underrated snipers in the league. Well, snipers, like shots in the league is what I'm trying to say. Went from Winnipeg to the Blue wow. Jackets in exchange for Dubois and um, 
yeah, he's been pretty silent to be honest. Maybe it has to do with the fan base in Columbus. He's, I mean, Columbus is a very low key team, but yeah, this guy is, this guy is something else when he knows how to play. Wow, what a shot that was! And it looks like Sherrod. It looks like it was a bad line change that led to that. Oh, Pizetta's in. That was Passes shit. That and shot terrible, there. terrible, pass, terrible shit decision shot. there. Yeah. Yeah, so I, think I don't he didn't know. Have the confidence but it, but it looked like Sherat was pissed because it looks like there was a bad line change that allowed Romanov to be completely alone. Another classic Dusham line change. I don't know how Dusham can survive this weekend. To be honest, if we lose again tonight in a in a disgusting. What do you fashion. mean? We've lost forty something games. I understand, but it's just the manner of the last night's defeat. By the way, if you notice right now, Jeff Petrie he doesn't have an A on his shirt anymore. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, they moved it to Paul Byron and Gallagher. But wait, wasn't that like that before? No. When By Byron always I think had when, an A. Yes, but why would they take it off? Because you can only have three A's. I get it, but I think my personal opinion is because of what happened last night, it gave them an extra incentive to take it off right that away. That makes sense. They would have either, the otherwise taken it off from Suzuki. That's he's what even, I think. Because Suzuki has an A. Yeah. Let's see Let's see what's uh, going on in the chat. Um, Spudley3 uh, says, waiting on the Avalanche game to start, so I'm here chilling with the boys. Thank you very much. Hey, what's up? Hope you can tune in. Uh, for at least for a little bit while the Avalanche game's not going on. Nathan Nathaniel Kogan asked for our final score predictions. I said 3-1. Costa, you said... 3-2 for Columbus. 3-2 Columbus. Kunz Zachary, welcome. Uh, hope you're going to enjoy. Spudley 3. Oh, we're in the Z. Oh, taking right a shot. Dauphin right in the chest. The goalie really doesn't look too... Uh, cost Kasipin. How do you write his name? Corpusalo. Corpusalo. Corpusalo doesn't look too confident. Uh, giving a lot of juicy rebounds, the Canadians need to take advantage Wait, do you on not that. Not know Kripasalo? I, I I just don't know how to pronounce the name. Uh -huh. I just don't know how to pronounce it. Takes a shot. I, I was just trying to embarrass you and your hockey IQ uh, in front of all the fans because we know how little you know about the NHL. Yeah, yeah. After yeah. all, you said that Ari. Blah, blah. Uh, no, who was it? Uh, Maurice Richard was the best player in history. Oh my. God. So based on that, I just know so, you don't know. So a basically, lot. like this is this is the opinion that will validate any future opinions. Correct? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm just saying that the gap is less close than you think. Anderson takes a shot, blocked in front. Anderson oh, playing against his back. Foot. Our little boy, Cole Caulfield, number no, twenty. No, he's not. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what am I? This is the official lineup. He's not there. Where? Wait, you know, he's right there. I just saw number twenty. Am I wrong? I think you saw something else. Wait, wait, wait. Let's let me verify. You saw Paling. You saw Paling. There's no way you saw Caulfield. Paling's number what? Paling's 25. That's what you saw. Wait, wait, wait. No doubt. Are you sure? Yeah. 100%. Um, Spudley3 says, I don't think reporters are allowed to ask what his injuries are or what procedures he went under. Can only be how he is and how long he will be out. I know. I, 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 I know that there's probably a blockage because I can't imagine that no reporter thought about asking oh, us. Oh, maybe like the usually what you're allowed to do as an organization is say mm -hmm. no questions about the specificities of his injury. I get it. But you can volunteer it if you want. And I feel like when your star goalie is out for more than almost, you know, six, seven, eight months now, it's worth telling the fans what's up. You know, uh, it's, it's a pretty long injury uh, gap there. Um... How did I Lin see Cole Caulfield? I, was I like just imagining that? I saw a twenty something or a two zero in the Habs. What? I, I swear to God, I saw Cole Caulfield on, on no, the ice. No, no, I promise you didn't. Um, Remember Max Va Domi? Yeah, Max Domi. Right there. First game back in Montreal, actually. That's what the that's the big news of the day. Return of Max Domi since the trade Not bad, for Anderson. The that's why this is the first time they're playing each other since October 2020. Wait, didn't they play each other in the season before? No, this is the first time wow. since oh. October 2020. Yeah, yeah. Listen, we have we have stats for a reason. It's true. Don't, don't it's try true. don't try and invent the. Uh, say <laughs> pas de réinventer la roue. You know what that expression is? Réinventer la roue is don't try and reinvent uh, the the wheel. It's invented. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's true. Oh, you're right. We ha we literally we literally came prepared, and I'm just saying anything. Yeah, you just you're trying. You're trying. Uh, Valles says Linnea is how you pronounce it. Patrick Lane. It's not Lin Lane. Apparently, it's no, Linnea. It's the it's not Linnea. Liney. It's, it's Liney or Liney. Liney. Oh. Liney or, or Patrick Laney. Laney. But I don't know. I feel like Laney makes more sense. Literally, this know. guy is is like such a popular player. Everybody knows uh, him. And there it is. Twenty is Weidman. Audrey S, thank oh, you for the correction. Caulfield's 22. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Spudly3 says Costa is doing hallucinogenic substances before the games. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, we're gonna. The only. No drug tests here. But the, uh, the only drugs I do are the drugs. The, the drug that is called life. Oh, God. There you go. Man. Oh, God. Man. There you go. Looks like uh, the, the 49ers Rams game is still at 0 0 if you look in the top. Uh, over Costa's head over here. So, yeah, keeping an eye on that second quarter. Cool. Um, Elliot Sirois Côté, sup. Bonsoir à toi aussi. J'espère que tu uh, enjoy ce soir. En autant qu'on ne perd pas, genre, 8 à 2 cette fois-ci. Um, what else do we got? Uh, Gold Slush, he asks, uh, and Finn Patterson asks the same question. Welcome back, guys. Uh, how is your day going so far? Costa, tell us how your day is going so far. My day is going pretty good. It's been a busy day. I've yeah. uh, had a lot to do. Um, nothing crazy, really. Mm -hmm. Sounds very vague, but to be honest, there's not much to say. It's just mm. working, and now I'm here enjoying the game with uh, Mr. Habspan TV himself. Mr. Habspan TV. How here is your day going, Alex? My day, honestly, going fantastic. Uh, I watched, honestly, just watched sports today. I watched right before this, I watched the Bengals and the 40 uh, the um, and the Chiefs very interesting game very good game all all the way down to the wire that the 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 Chiefs had a lead for such a long time and the Bengals managed to come back and they completed the job and they won an overtime who were you rooting for uh, I root on the team that makes me money. So Boy, well, what team is that? Both teams. <laughs> uh. No, but I, I think I, I don't know. I, I don't love Patrick Mahomes, so I mean, I like the Bengals. I um, mean, Gallagher's favorite team in all yeah. of sports is the Bengals. Yeah, people were saying <laughs> that Gallagher is gonna have like the game of his life tonight. <laughs> Literally, the guy bet the house. He didn't. He didn't do like his little uh, his little thing that he does on TikTok. There, he takes like a cap. Oh, and he, like he hits it all <laughs> over the place. I don't know what though. Um, straight line, then the letter A, Valiz says. Line A. Where do you line say that? A. Sorry. Straight Patrick line. Line A. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Line A. Yes, that is it. You're right. It's Line A. We got it. We got I it. I think it is. Yes. Oh, I swear line we should a. become, uh, what's it called? Um, speech therapist. Speech there therapist. Factual. Wow. Let's go. Wow. Uh, <laughs> um, Jordan Matty, hello. Hello. Hello, Welcome. hello. Uh, I saw you followed us on uh, on Hapsfan TV on our TikTok today, so thank you for the thank follow. Thank you, thank you. My God. Can we just... I, I just want to talk about the game right now. There's one thing I want to mention. Tell us. Injuries. Edmondson, Jouin, Perrault, Wedet, Jake Allen, Dvorak, Price, Weber. Am I missing anyone? No, that's pretty much it. Isn't that insane? Like, literally the entire... I, we mentioned this last game, too. I just want to mention it again. Ha like, all of our first liners, second liners in both forwards, defense, and goaltending are out. Yeah. And the Laval Canadians are playing tonight pretty much, trying their best. No, I mean, listen, if what you look you, at the team, you, you've got... Uh, Suzuki, sure. Toffoli, sure. Like, first line makes sense. First and second line are, you know... Yeah, but the second line would be like a third line, usually, or a fourth line. Oh, and they scored! Oh. Is that Domi? The, no, it's not Domi. It's um, that's a goal from Roslovich. There we go. Looks like they're already they're already panning the the, the camera to Primo. Oh, this is not good, guys. Ah, oh, it's not good. Why don't we like do something about our goaltending? Like at this point, why don't you and, just and, trade and tonight Montembeau's in net. So I mean, I know you've been critical of Primo the last few games, but I mean. No, it's, no, it's just a defending. Point, it's just a defending. It's not good enough. Kale Clegg well, no, he's sitting he, in front like, of him. He's not also sticking out a just sniping it straight. Yeah, to good shots. And Kerry Price is there with his cowboy hat, watching over this, and he's uh, two so, goals on six shots, guys. Come same on, thing no. like last game. This Honestly, guys, at, at this point, I would just trade Montalbo for some backup from some other NHL team to have some fresh start for. I don't know. What are you gonna do? Like, like Allen is More out. More than fresh Price start. It's just. Well, what do you want to do at this point? It's it's just it's the defending that's a problem, and it's also not only the defending from the defenders, but it's just our attackers. They're not coming back and they're not helping out the defense either. So it's just, it's a problem on all ends. Suzuki pass in front in the slot. There's gonna be a penalty called, and the Canadians can't keep it in, and they're gonna have to reset. Let's see if they pull out the extra goalie and see uh, the the extra man, and we'll see what they could do here. Six on five right now. 
10 minutes and uh, 30 seconds at least on our clock so let's see what happens okay they're really taking their time here let's see what happens so Suzuki gives it to Gallagher Ooh, Sherratt's got it gives it to Romanov Shoot. let it rip Come no on. pass it in the slot just Romanov bomb. just shoot it passing man. it in the corner to Foley across Taking a shot, oh, and Gallagher can't get a stick on it. Passing it back to the point, sure. Literally looking snipe for it. Sherrod. Snipe it. Come oh. on. And Suzuki takes a shot, it's blocked in front, and they're going to call a penalty for interference. Honestly, Romanov should have shot that, but whatever. Here we go, folks. Interference. Confirmed now. Wait, it, it's a... It's a... Uh, three... Oh, no, 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 it's just the first power play. I thought yeah, it's a power play. Things. Um, Elia Tiroir Côté says ça serait mon rêve si on gagne 8 à 2 ouais, euh, <laughs> on commence avec 2 euh, puis on verra à, à propos du 8 là. parce que honnêtement ces gars sont tellement ils jouent tellement comme la BS là. ils jouent tellement comme des BS I, 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 I don't understand je sais pas pourquoi ça prend tellement d'efforts pour défendre ton goaler je comprends pas Oh, oh bad away. pass from Petrie, breakaway. and it's a breakaway, and a shot scores! <laughs> Fucking god damn it, man. You, you just destroyed everybody who's wearing headphones ears right now. Sorry. <laughs> Rip to every but I'm pissed! Headphone user. What well, the hell? Oh, Primo's going in. Oh! Primo's going in. Come on! Three goals and seven shots for Montalbo, and oh, panning right to Price. Just smash my damn too. controller. Sorry, rip, rip to all of those headphones. Rest in peace to the head. It's Robinson, I think, that got that goal. Yeah, yeah. Eric Robinson, a fourth liner on the on the penalty kill who just absolutely dangles and puts it past Montalvo. Literally, Montalvo should have had that. That it's was such a weak goal, too. This is but That terrible. was a weak pass from uh, Petrie. Like. Petrie, well, yeah. Giveaway. He, give, he gave Icing that away. on the cake. He doesn't even care. He doesn't... Guys, we've gotten... Nine nine times we've taken out the goalie. Well, you, who do you think is playing for us, man? Nine we, times. Montabu is like not even a backup level goalie at this point. Guys, this is this is disgraceful. You know, there's a problem with the Florida Panthers are wavering a guy like Montabu. Well, Panthers are good now. They're good. I mean, they're good. But my it's point is, crazy it's like, man. It's like he's a waiver who didn't even make it as a backup goalie. I'm, I'm stunned, man. I'm stunned. Like I can't believe again. What did we say last time? First period, you give yourself no chance to win when you're down three nothing. Well, now we're down three one. Yeah. I said three. Oh, and I think there's going to be another penalty. Penalty to Suzuki. What did he do? Yo, Petrie just man. does not give a shit about. No, honestly, Petrie needs to be gone. I'm sorry. It's he, enough, man. He cares. It's it's completely at all. Like none. It's completely disgusting. I've never seen a player wear that shirt with absolutely no care in the world. Let's see what Suzuki's penalty is. Yeah, that's okay. a penalty. That's a penalty. Right. He literally slashed he, his hand. He hiring. gave him a little. Okay, yeah. It's a penalty. Oh. Wow. Literally, guys. You know. Valles says, oh my god, my ears. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to fix this with a mic next time. Uh, it's going to be less uh, traumatic. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'll try my best. The Spud Lee 3 says, bro, this goalie ain't it. Pfft. Yo, this is not it, man. Like, I, I, I can't even believe like a what Petri, we're seeing. Like a Petri, Petri doing his again. Thing. Oh, this guy needs to... Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, what just happened there? This is completely ridiculous. I mean, we're on a 4-on-4 four four for another 40 seconds. Well, you know, a few years ago, we lost 10 nothing to these people, huh? Well, the blue jackets. Oh, oh, two on oh, two. two and no, okay, never mind. Yeah, it's a four on four right now for thirty seconds. Um, takes a shot. Oh, and another save. And Primo's in nets now. Just to give you guys the update, because my God. But you know what? To be fair, Columbus—they're not a—they're not a terrible team this year. I mean, if you look at the players. They have like, I mean, amazing play. Like Nyquist, Liney are amazing. I yeah. don't know much about Jenner to be honest. Oh wait, Forward. in the zone and Evans takes a shot just directly on the goalie. Oh, and a shot, and it's saved again by like, like an in shot saved by Kospin. Kospin, right? 
No, no Corpusalo. Corpus Corpusalo. My God, I'm thinking of I'm thinking of Cospinin, and I and I keep mixing it up. Even with the notes, even with the name in front of him, you can't read it, man, Alex. It's tough, man. Wow, tough. tough I, I, day. I printed it too small. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this uh, differently next time. Uh, Valles, can I see the controller? Yeah, no, it's this. Honestly, no, it's okay. It's just like I really hit it hard. I thought something dented inside, but we're good. We are good. To be honest, uh, Blue Jackets are pretty okay. Team. They're they're fifth in the Metropolitan. They probably won't make the playoffs just like us. Um, and uh, I mean, but like nothing more to say about they that. They have a few special players. Like I, I already know they have a pretty solid first line. They have Vorge. The thing, you know, what I've always thought about the Blue Jackets. Tom. I think I have a theory. Mm -hmm. This is a conspiracy theory. So guys. Conspiracy theory. I I'm going to sound like an idiot right now, but this is what I believe. I think Columbus Blue Jackets, or sorry, Columbus Cleveland, where they play. It's not really a fun place to live. Okay. But I'm saying that based on the rumors of what these players have said. Okay. Um, and the idea is that a lot of these players, like I'm talking the star players, who have really yeah. the the demand to go well, to other places. Anderson, for example, who came to us. No, no, no. I'm talking about Nash. I'm talking mm. about uh, what's his, the guy's name who went to the New York Rangers. One of the best players in the league right now, guys. I'll tell you right now. I'm gonna Google it. You Whoa. guys know his name. Uh. Um, he, like, oh, I, I'm, I'm blanking out on these names, but literally yes, Steph, all. Of tell us who went from the Blue Jackets to the Rangers. Panarin. 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 Or Panarin. Um, yeah, he, he like went to New York City of all places and like back when Tortorella was coaching for the Blue Jackets, he was being asked about why these players don't want to stay at Columbus and why they have a tough time like not uh, um, keeping a lot of these big players. Mm -hmm. And it's because there's a theory that it's just not fun to be in Columbus. It's like a really boring city. It doesn't sound like a theory. It just it sounds like factual. It's not like a conspiracy theory. And uh, I don't, I've never been. Factual. I've never been to Cleveland. But... Yeah, and based on that, that's why the players leave. So really? they've been able to turn out uh, to bring out a, a lot of really good guys in there, but it's hard to keep them because it's just not a fun team to be mm -hmm. at. Um, but yeah, also shout out another fun fact: Max Domi. Um, back when he was with Arizona, he was doing an interview with Spitting Chicklets' his own Paul Bissonnette, Biznasty. And nasty. they were talking about... Oh no, they were in Montreal because he came here with, like on an away game with Arizona. And they were talking about Montreal as a city and like the clubs and the restaurants. And Max Domi said, what are you talking about? Montreal is a boring city. I'm a Toronto guy. I just want to be in Toronto. Mm -hmm. And then literally a few months, months later, he got traded to Montreal. And in the interviews, Domi was like, yeah, I love Montreal. It was very weird. But yeah, anyways, now he's in Cleveland. So good for you, Domi. You get to play in the beautiful city of Cleveland, Ohio. So basically what I could take away from is he liked Montreal. No, he, he said he hated it. And he said it was a boring city, but then he got traded here. So he was lying about the fact that he liked Montreal. And then he got traded to Cleveland. So like Oh, and another giveaway. And he scored again! God, are you kidding me? Chinarov scores. That's it's a, four one Blue Jackets. I game think that's a over. I think that's a, a game over. Point over. I'm gonna start putting the, the NFL game soon. I'm gonna start putting the NFL game soon. This is ridiculous. I think that's a point oh oh for Primo. That was Which such an defensive easy. pairing was on there. Clegg, my god, they're having but a that was nightmare. such a like they are having such a nightmare. That. Where's, the, where's the paper? Yeah. Where's the paper? Can I yeah. He should have caught that. That was such an easy like save for Primo. And it's just these breakaways. Oh oh! We pan the camera straight to Kent Hughes. Kent Kulak and Klager are absolutely having a nightmare. They're on the second defensive pairing. My God! Why is Romanov on the last defensive pairing with Weidman? Who, no. who picks this stuff? Our who puts Romanov on the third defensive pairing Our and leaves Sharad and Petrie together? Our boys, Yusham. Our, our oh, lovely, man, man. lovely, this lovely. Is this is ridiculous. Jisham, this is literally gives so much love to this organization. Ridiculous. Jisham literally wakes up every morning and he's just laughing at the fact that he's still this a coach. Is, I, I can't believe the way. Oh, oh. Small slash Six. right there. I'm, I'm fed up, man. All right, guys. If this game goes to like, if the Habs don't score for I don't know how. Let's let what what. 
Let me rephrase it. Go for it. I couldn't speak there. Let it speak. Let it. Let's spit. What does the score have to be for us to change this to the NFL playoff game? As a Habs fan TV channel, because that's how embarrassing this game is. Like honestly, uh, well, I'm gonna leave it up to the chat. I'm gonna leave it up to the chat. You guys tell us. What do you think? Shout out. Oh my god, we didn't see these comments, guys. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. I just want to go back to a few, but it's okay. Bergevin should have not treated Domi. The goalies are not the problem, it's the players. Habs getting ripped again. Pernarin, big rip. What is happening? Game over. Yep, you guys are saying it. Nathaniel Kogan is right. Byron, uh, game dude. Byron Ovesier, je crois. No, no, he came back. Uh, just oh, wow. put Price in, even if he's injured. Yeah, at this point, you can literally put a, a cone. Put, in a, net. put a cone, man. I switched Strictly. to the Islanders game, LMAO, but I'm going to stay here with the boys. Feel bad. They're now saying, tell us wait, wait, hold what on. you're They're hiding. 5-1. Wait, flag. hold on a second. No, no, it's 4-1. I don't see no 5-1. It's 4-1. Oh, wait. Maybe you oh, guys you are... Guys, you guys might be in advance on this, but I don't yeah. see where that goal would come from. Uh, oh, never mind. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, think, I think we get it. Uh, uh, no, no. No, no. Oh, not, hey, 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 yo, you, you, guys, guys. you guys are... Yo, you guys are... You guys uh, he's saying, you know, I think they're saying 5-1 is when we should turn it. Oh, is that what you guys I meant? I think that's what oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's we're waiting for a goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that's so jokes. Okay, so at 5-1, if it happens in the first period, 5-1, we're turning it to the NFL playoffs. Oh, shot wide. Shout out to Sp Spud Lee for not even caring about the Habs game, but staying with the boys. Thanks, man. Thank you, man. Tell Are us you what's guys behind the Montreal flag. You know what? We'll do it at intermission. I'll let you know. Are you guys friends? Yes, indeed. Yes, we are. I was Sometimes. Say, I was only, say, on, only on Monday, only on game days. I was going to say no and like start beef with you right now. Oh, it's okay. And then, and then like start my YouTube channel and record a diss track like 2018 YouTube, you know? Shit. There you go. Now you know my plan. Do you have any bars that you can spit for us if ever you have to make I, a diss track? I'm reserving them for the diss track. I can't say anything right now. Yeah, it's reserved. Yo, this, guy, this guy is smart. This guy is smart. Mon équipe préférée, oh oui, score down. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Mon équipe préférée, les Penguins de Pittsburgh. Ma deuxième équipe préférée, le Tricolore. Shout yes, out sir. to Jordan. Shout out to Jordan. Shout out to fan de Le Mieux, probablement. That's why you're a Pittsburgh Penguin fan. So many Penguins fans in Quebec, I've noticed. Oh, and a save from Primo. Well, you had to make one. I mean, nine shots and four goals. I mean, you had to make one at some point. Jesus, man. Um... Frédéric Gagnon thinks it's going to be 10 to 1 for Columbus. Uh, honestly, Ouch. we're on track. We're on track for that. Um, I just want to go up a little bit more. Petrie, Spud Lee 3 says Petrie is the equivalent of Matt Duchesne on the Avalanche of his last few years. What do you think about that? Uh, Matt Duchesne, I it's mean. It's hard to compare. Actually, I see what, she, what Spud Lee's saying. Matt Duchesne, though, like, full on, potential wise, is a. Oh, oh Pezzetta's going to get a delay of game. Shot got. Oh no! No, Anyways, we're good. We're good. good, we're good. Um, yeah, Matt Duchesne is like one of those guys back when he was with uh, Colorado. Could have been, not maybe not McKinnon level is amazing, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like first line, center, doing crazy things, being an all star for Colorado, and it just he had his ups and downs, and I think he kind of lost a lot of steam throughout his career, and now he's where he's at. He's still yeah. a good player, but he's not like. It's not wow. what we thought he was going to be. Well, we he, thought like he McKinnon was, was going to be. We thought that Duchesne was going to be like. Well, I mean. No, not McKinnon. McKinnon is a different beast. No, no, I, I get it, but he had the potential to be a really excellent player. And he kind of was for a bit, and then kind of yeah. fell off, and it's been very ups and downs, and he just lost a lot of steam. But I always like Duchesne, uh, Duchesne a bit. Yeah. I saw a question from Nathaniel. Nathaniel Kogan says, "Do you like Caulfield and Laval?" Good question. Uh, yes. Honestly, I yes. think yes. I mean, uh, do you want him to join this? Uh, the, no pro chance. the issue in the, being having Caulfield in Laval right now is that we have no Laval players. All of our Laval players are in Montreal. Literally, yeah. our Laval players are our ECHL players who got called up to Laval. Yeah. So because of that, maybe it would make sense to keep him here, but I, I don't know I think just anymore. out of circumstance, but I think otherwise, let's say next year we start, we start off fresh. No COVID, no nothing. I mean, Caulfield should be in Laval, I think, even starting next season. That's my opinion. Depending on what the moves are going to be, if it's some sort of rebuild that Ken Hughes has in mind, yeah, I would maybe keep him in the league and just face the pain all the other players are facing. But yeah. I don't know. Caulfield's still a bit of a mystery to me, man. I don't know. Maybe 
it's just the season because he had a pretty good playoffs. Mm-hmm. I feel you. I feel you. Good playoffs, but I still think he needs like a good year. I think because of COVID, you know, the shortened season, they really didn't have that experience to go and play in the NHL and get those skills down. And I think he still needs it. So I think it's worth it. We'll see. Um, Gold Slushy thinks Bergevin should not have traded Domi. Mm, I I'm, disagree. I'm, I think I'm happy with the trade so exactly, far. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, look, Domi right now is on the third line. Of the the Blue Jackets, I mean, you know, Anderson is like on our first two lines, and I think you know what he brings to the game is a lot of physicality. I, I, I think we I'm, need. I think I'm. I think I'm okay with Anderson uh, playing. You know, he produces offensively. Max Domi, I think. I don't know. It, it just it just didn't fit. I don't think he's a bad player. I think it just didn't fit here in Montreal for him. It's a shame. I loved him at the World Juniors. Loved him. Uh, Domi favorite. Domi, uh, I don't know. Domi always gave me some bad energy in the sense he gave me a bit of he reminded me a lot of P.K. Subban ego yeah he had this very big ego he had this like his family is like very much like well connected in these industries like with celebrities and Ty Domi Ty Domi and you see him in LA with like Mark Wahlberg and they like start having these book deals and like so you know it's like it's a lot of like media related stuff and I think um Domi is trying to back this up with his play, but his yeah. play is just very... Hold on a second. They're getting a chance here. Blue Jackets are in our zone. Taking a shot, I'd say, from Primo. They got to clear this, and they can't. It goes all the way to the point. Takes a shot. Primo save. Regardless, though, what I'm trying to say with Domi is that I think he's a good player, but I think what he thinks he is is a lot... He thinks he's a lot better Ooh. than he is. Uh, yeah, and, and that's exactly what I, what I felt with him in Montreal, and that's why he had to get traded. I mean, uh, he didn't turn out what we thought he was going to be, and he, he, he had a didn't good change his season, attitude. Though, with Montreal. Good first season, yeah, I'll admit. I'll admit. Um, let's see. Um, Spudley three says this track has to be in French, though. <laughs> uh, we'll make it. You know, what, we'll make it half half. We're a bilingual <laughs> channel, so we'll make it half half. Um, Valles says my favorite team is the Oilers or the Leafs. Ouch. Oof. Wait. Well, were you, did you say that to us like last live stream because we roasted you if we did? Maybe. Yeah. No, I don't know last live stream, but I mean. We roasted you in a loving way. It's just like it's it's hard to be a Leafs fan and an Oilers fan. Like You need to pick a winning team at some point, right? Yeah. <laughs> all love, though. All love. All love, though. But I, I, I mean, you know, um, for me, I, I, I've just never been capable of liking two teams at once. Oh, Hoffman and chance in front. Save. What from- a save. By- wow. Say it, cor- say it with me. Corpisalo. Corpisalo. Damn. Cor. Corpisalo. Piss. Alo. Alright, we get. Yeah. Co- look, cor. Cor. Piss. Piss. Alo. Alo. Say it again. Corpisalo. Corpisalo. Now you go. have it. Um. Let's see. Valles says I did. Tell us. Tell us which one you picked as your number one team. I'm curious. I mean, I, I hope. Well, I mean, I hope for your sake it's the Oilers. Um, but I mean, uh, if Guys, you like, chose the Maple Leafs. I mean, we won't. We won't hate you. We all. Uh, we all know people who make that bad decision. <laughs> all love though. Oh, it looks like Anderson <laughs> jumps over the defender. Oh, and a pass in front. Evans. It just gets clipped over him. And, so guys, uh, good idea there. We said uh, at, the, at the end of this period, if it's five one, we're changing it to the yeah. NFL. So you guys got thirty seconds for it to come true. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of, sort of, yeah. Kind of, sort of, maybe yes or no, or whatever you want to call it. Um, Anyways, on the breaks, we'll change it and see what's Nathaniel happening. Nathaniel Colgan says, "Are you guys streaming the All Star Game?" Depends. I, I don't know yet. We haven't taken a decision. We'll, yeah. we'll take that decision when. Well, it listen. If it's comes. something you guys want to see, let us know. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't remember what the All Star Game like. The skills, or I don't know if we should comment on the skills, or maybe uh, the actual game. I don't know. Let us know what you guys think. Hurricanes ball to one against San Jose. I mean, Hurricanes are a great team this season. Yes, sir. Hurricanes um, playing very well this season. Yeah. With uh, with our cut Kanyemi and the period ends. It's four one. What a joke! Like what? Like what an absolute joke! Is this the response that actually should be coming out of a, the night right after you lose seven two? Like it's a it's a complete joke. Yeah, I hate this. I hate this with uh, with a passion. It's a pretty uh, bad, uh... T- terrible response, and especially out of the guy that literally 
should have come out with a response to Jeff Petrie. Terrible performance so far. I don't think he cares enough. And he doesn't care. That's the truth. So you know what? I like the fact that Kent Hughes today in La Presse came out and said, well, you know what? Uh, he didn't ask for a trade, but we're thinking of trading him. Good. Who said that? Kent Hughes. About who? Yeah, he says Kent Hughes. He says we approached him and we said if it works out for the both of us, then it should work out. Yeah, yeah. Kent Hughes, he, he says everything that's on his mind. He said that today in La Presse, if you check it out. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, yeah that's serious. Wait, that, I need that's to serious. Google that. Yeah. Jad Al Batal says go Habs go. What? Go Habs go. Mais Tabarnak, ça fait mal de dire go Habs go en ce moment. Cat <laughs> arm. Wow, 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 wow. If you were the coach or the general manager for Montreal, what would you do? I think uh, if I was general manager, I'll, I'll pick three things that I would do. And you guys could do the same. Name three things that you would do as Montreal general manager right now. I would start with Petrie gone. Um, let's take a look at the damn lineup. I'll tell you. Petri oh gone. Oh my God. I'm just Chirac this. gone. Bring in defenders, please. And load up on draft picks, not for this coming draft, but the next one, 2023. Because you know what? From, from different, for different reasons. The 2022 draft hasn't played too much because of COVID. We don't know exactly what's going to happen. Even Shane Wright, a lot of people are doubting it right now. A lot of people are saying we should go with Savoie instead. We'll see what happens there. But 2023's draft looks pretty strong with Connor Bedard and, and the rest of the gang. So let's see. Wow, guys, I'm reading this um, yeah, article. Okay. It's pretty dark. Yeah. Petrie, okay, the context behind it is that Petrie's wife left with their three kids to the United States because the Quebec sanitary measures of COVID-19 are too hard for the family. Yeah. And Petrie's been really sad about that, I'm guessing. And Hughes gave a, he said that he is aware of Petrie's situation with his family. And based on that, he understands why he's in this mood. And because of that, he said, he met with him saying that if we can find a good spot and the, the, it makes sense, we'll trade you. But it has to do with the fact that yeah. his wife left with his kids. Yes, of course it has to do with that. But if you read down later, he says, yeah. well, Kent Hughes is not... Uh, Jeff Petrie is not the youngest player on the Canadians. So he wouldn't mind trading him too, you know? I think uh, I, I think yeah. for me that's quite a clear indication that Jeff Petrie might be on the move. That, that, I don't know what you guys think about that. That makes so much sense. I was like, why is he like that? But I honestly, it makes sense. Yes, yes, for me, I, I, I knew about this. But I still... The only thing is, everyone has personal issues. Yeah, everyone this is has a pretty personal deep one. Your I understand. Family left. His family left. I understand. But the, it's the case for a lot of NHL players that come to play in Montreal, especially if they're American, that their families don't necessarily always move with them. You know, let's say Toffoli's family. It's a, it's a very, uh, uh, it's a very specific situation where Toffoli's wife absolutely loves Montreal, and that's great. But the truth is, not a lot of people come and follow uh, the kids. You know, let's say if they're playing at another team. Well, an example was uh, I, I was watching All or Nothing the, with the Leafs. Oh, yeah? And uh, what's his name? Awesome Matthew. No, 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 no. Uh, from Columbus, got traded to the Leafs. Um, now he's with Boston. He used to be the captain of Columbus. You guys know who I'm talking about. Probably. Blue Jackets, former captain. I'll tell you right now. I'm get blanking on his name. Mm. Oh, him, him, him. What's his name? Uh, uh, Foligno, uh, Nick Foligno. Nick Foligno. So Foligno got traded from Columbus to Toronto because he wanted to win a cup last season. Yeah. What happened was that Nick Foligno's family, because he was in Columbus for such a long time, decided to stay in mm -hmm. Columbus, and Foligno just went to Toronto for to go to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. He ended up basically um, doing everything in Toronto. His family's still in Columbus. Finished that season, went to Boston. Mm -hmm. Family's still in Columbus. So I get it. There's like that stuff happens a lot, but the thing is, this it's such a shitty situation to know that, like, the Quebec sanitary measures pressured his family to basically have to, you know, step, split up. Yeah, split up. That's very hard to hear, and especially with what's been happening in Quebec, it's not. A, it's very hard for not just families, but like individually too, having to know that you, as a player, you're just playing your games and then you're stuck at home. And you're practicing and then back at home, you can't do anything. I feel you. I, I completely get it. And I think that's why there's... And then you go to the yeah. United States 
and you know, other or other arenas and you see like fans and full you see fans having, in the, in like, the stadium to go out and i don't know if you guys are watching the nhl games uh, the nfl games by the way seven seven four uh four niners and rams were in the uh second quarter um full stadiums eighty thousand people granted it's outside and apparently covid doesn't transmit as much outside but you tell yourself that in a building like for example the bell center which is highly ventilated, huge space. There's a lot of space for the air to, to pass around and change. I mean, look, why why can't we do the same? Why are only 500 fans allowed inside? And by the way, they, they said they are not opening. They're only opening a few loges, but they're not opening for 500, uh, for 500 people to go in. So very sad, very sad. Uh, personally, I have no comment on COVID-19 because uh uh, I don't want to get canceled in 20 years uh, for some okay, weird right, reason, okay. but I will say that what sucks is that the division of like what's been happening, like now I feel bad for Petrie, before I was like, fuck Petrie, but now I'm yeah. like, man, this is rough, I can understand him. Like I just got the shock where I'm like, well, damn, for me, that for sucks. me, For me, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't change much. Uh, I don't think it gives, because your family is separated from you it doesn't give you an excuse to for example like yesterday when Cassian absolutely barrels through your goalie for you uh, to sit there I get it. he has more important it's things like to you know about. you at some point this team that you travel with for 82 games becomes your family so no 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 I under, no, but, no, but, no but let me say let me say why I understand but you got to fight for your teammates you can't just sit there and because the situation sucks we're all just not going to fight for each other I don't, I don't I don't understand that kind of attitude. It's not a winning attitude and it's not um, it's not fair to your teammates who are, you know, arguably whose families are going through the exact same thing. Yeah, but it's mental health it's different. It's mental health. I understand. I understand. But you know what? I, I still don't think it justifies uh, what's going on with Petrie. I personally think mental health justifies any performance issue, but maybe it should have been uh, maybe Petrie Take a break. Next time. Exactly. Take exactly. a break. Exactly. But don't stay there and do what you're doing. And not stick up for your goalie. I don't no, agree that with I that. Understand. I don't agree with it. Also, uh, live on Habs Fan TV Twitter. Yeah. Uh, the Habs have allowed 24 goals in their last 10 periods of play. That's more than two goals per period. With a dog emoji. Yeah, dog if, if you guys haven't followed us on Habs Fan TV Twitter, we are posting memes. Uh, well, Steph. Yeah, posting gotta, memes. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys could see it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, go check it out. She's telling it. Um, okay, so let's keep going. Um, uh, Mr. Alex Dit Tabarnak Safemal summarizes the season very well. Yeah, literally. Tabarnak uh, Safemal. I can add a lot of swear words next to it, but I, I decide I won't. Prim this is the Primo being swapped for Montembeau meme. Literally. 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 Um, let's see. Gold Slushy. Alex, do you have the hockey cards next to you? Um... I feel like they're very far. I'm gonna go double check, but I mean, I think for the second intermission, we'll go through them. Um, Jad Albatal says, I wish Carey Price was in net. Yeah, I- I, I think I, we all do. <laughs> I, I think that's a, that's the most uh, agreed mess comment ever written in the history of yeah. this stream. <laughs> um, Vithersan says, sup Alex and his friend, Nick Foligno. His friend's name Costa. Um, yeah, and everyone mentioned Felino, Julian Giancola, welcome. Jerwinder Sansoa, welcome. Welcome to all of you guys. Welcome Thanks for guys. tuning in. Guys, if you guys get the chance, you know the drill. Costinos. Oh, you gotta you like, to like. Like. Subscribe. Like. Subscribe. Like. Subscribe, guys. Like and sub. We're gonna scream it from every single possible mountain we could find in this area that is that is does not apply any covid measures because you know that's the, technically the theme of tonight well honestly i'm not going to talk about COVID. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway no all jokes aside guys thank you so much for watching every single one of you you tune in almost keep, every game keep chatting with us this is you chat it's amazing it's the only reason we keep doing it by the way it's if, amazing it's literally you guys are the only reason we keep doing this and i can't 
say this more sincerely. To, I, I will say this. When we started these live streams, I personally thought we were going to have two people watching. I, I mean, so did I. And I thought it was going to be like our friend and like one of our parents. Yeah. And ended up being like last game we got 2,200 views, guys, on our live stream. Crazy. Just also just so many comments from you guys. It's it's great. It generates so much discussion, gives us so much ideas on stuff and to energy, talk about. And we like, like doing great, this. Man. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. Um, let's see. Uh, what else do we got? Um, Stephanie Matar says, Loki wished that the fans were at the Bell Center for the last games. The reaction would have been hilarious. Oh, I don't think it would have been funny. <laughs> uh, yes, for the interviews, yeah, for sure. If you go check out our page, we have fans reacting to all the games this year. Uh, I'm sure for those that are rival fans, I'm sure you guys are enjoying this right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you guys want to go see more reactions to the Canadians losing and everything that the Canadians feel, I mean, go check out our channel. Go check yep. out our videos. Yep. Uh, there's plenty to look through. Um, what else do we got? We should change it to uh, to the NFL, no? Oh, I mean, NFL, for the, yeah, for the sure. break, for the break. But I, I feel like back. it's I feel like it's coming back very very soon. Well, we'll see it. We'll see it here actually. Q two. Oh, their, their second quarter has forty seconds left in the end. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Jad Albatal says, "Do you think Carey Price will return this season like Paul Byron?" Um, no. I, I think today, if you saw the press conference. I mean, he is, he is not sure of anything. He could be not watching. He could be Who not playing for about? the next year or so. Price? Carey Price. He's yeah. unsure. The next month, he said, though, was going to be crucial with, you know, the skating and everything. So if we hear that, you know, he's not skating again or whatever, well, we know that probably there's been another setback. And that's going to be, uh, he said he's going to restart the process. Whatever this process is, he said he might restart it. Does that mean going through surgery again? We don't know, but uh, that would be quite terrible. I, I think they keep it vague for specific reasons. Yeah. I think uh, Picari Price doesn't want people to know the specificities, and that's totally fine with me. It's more like knowing that... What I liked about that conference is that knowing that he actually k wants to come back, he actually wants to be playing, he wants to stay with the Habs. Like, all of these things reassure me that it's not like a Weber situation necessarily or like a Petrie situation. It's just... He has a really bad injury and he wants to take his time with it, and that's totally fine. Yeah, I think I think it's it's fine with me. I, I think as long as uh, you know um, they keep communicating to us about his progress, I, I think that's that's good with me. Um, Spudley three says, uh, "Y'all y'all need a Kurt McDermott." Kurt McDermott, you know Kurt McDermott? No, who is that? McDermott, he beats everyone's ass for the Avs. Oh wait, wait, Spudley yeah, Kurt McDermott. Yeah. I don't know much about him as a player though. Wait, is that how you spell his name? I feel like it's a different. I feel like way. it's McDermott. No, no, it's McDermott, uh, defenseman. Oh uh, well, yeah, you say the word defenseman, I, I'm, I'm fully in on that. Curtis McDermott. Oh, he's gonna be probably. Uh, let's see. He plays for Colorado Avalanche. And they describe him as an enforcer. I don't know much about him, guys. Sorry. Shoots with his left. Well, we need a left, uh, a left defenseman. That's for sure. So, I mean, for sure. He is. He's pretty much a big body. I mean, 30 games played, a plus three with three points. Two penalty but minutes. 56 <laughs> a penalty lot of penalty minutes. minutes. So he's that's crazy. he's a big guy. He's he's their Hal Gill. Literally. Um, this match nicely shows what happens when Montreal gets the luxury of playing against a bad team. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, not the best team, but man, they're giving us quite the the beating. They're really giving us a beating here. But you know what? They, the the Canadians need to keep shooting on this goalie. He's not that good, Kaspira. Say say. Don't even look at your notes. Say his name. Kaspira. No. 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 Kaspira. I'm. I'm. I'm final answer. Are you serious? Yeah. Final answer. Are you dead serious right now? We, we said it 20 million times. Guys, don't tell him. What is the Blue Jackets goalie name? Kaspira. Go ahead. Oh, make my God. A, make a show. Man. <laughs> Did we not just have this whole situation where we, like... <laughs> okay. Corpus Salo, my God. I don't know You're what the You're butchering his of. name, guys. Um, let's see. Laugh my ass off. Michael Long says, Laugh my ass off. How's your team? Love losing in last place. I'm a Leafs fan. You guys have truly failed yourselves. Um, I mean, you guys have failed yourselves for the last like twenty seasons, or yeah. like since like nineteen sixty seven. But to, sure, we failed honest, ourselves this season. To be honest, like I'd rather this 
kind of. Then having the so-called one of the best players, Austin uh, Matthews, Mitch Marner, all on uh, and Nylander and Martner and all these guys on $10 million, $8 million contracts, whatever you want to call it. And you guys can't even get past the depleted Montreal Canadiens? Like, I don't know. I feel like that's worse. I hope you guys make the playoffs. And I, I hope... You know what? Honestly, I hope that you guys make the make it past the second round. You know why? Because I want you guys to have a little bit of hope. I want them to have like a little bit of hope and just get <laughs> smacked down again. I'd love that. By the way, 10-7 for the 49ers. And it's the end of uh, the second half. So, second well, the first half. Second so, quarter. Yeah. First half. So at the end of the no, second no, quarter. No, no, said the, second half. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Quick, quick maths. I yeah. sort of like I'm just ready to give you a freaking punch across the head. Wow, I love, Here we I love go. the violence. It's it like it's so beautiful. Like as a as a just a thing to say to someone, you know. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate the love. Uh, Michael Long says the Leafs smoke Detroit. I laugh at you people. <laughs> La- laugh all you want. Laugh all you want. We'll see in a few years who will be laughing. You can't keep that team together, the Maple Leafs, for uh, for much longer. So hey, you guys will have to go undergo through the same thing that we have to. And I bet you that we're going to do it better with Kent Hughes and uh, Jeff Gordon. Can I mention one thing to the Leafs fans Tells. out there? Uh, Matthews signed a five-year deal, not an eight-year deal. Mm. There's a reason why Matthews didn't want to sign a f- long-term mm-hmm. deal right away, like f- full long-term deal. And I think it's because he knows his worth. And as a guy who's going to be entering his prime when his contract ends, he's going to ask for the fattest contract in the world. And knowing what happened to the Leafs over the last few seasons... They're going to have to think twice before giving him the big money again. Because he's not going to be asking for 10 or 11 million, whatever he's getting now. He's going to be asking for 15 million. And he's someone in the NHL is willing to give him that for eight years. And I know the Leafs are not going to want to give him that for eight years because it's going to, they're going to look like clowns. Um, even though it's Austin Matthews and he's the best player, I think it's pretty clear that the NHL, what makes you go fa- really far into the, the, the playoffs and win playoff games, it's depth and not star power. Mm-hmm. So based on these, what I just said, you guys look like clowns or will look like clowns. But I wish you all the best. You have Marner, you have Matthews, but you have no cups f- for a long time. Well, it's been a long time. Been you been have cups, but it's been a long time. I cool axes. How will Toronto do in the first round of the playoffs? I, I will predict that they'll actually make it past the first round. Who? The, the Maple Leafs. I, I disagree. I, I, think, I think they will. I, I, I don't know why. Disagree. Because there's been so much talk this year about the, the Leafs not making it, especially after last year. Well, and the year after that, and the year after that, and the year after that. <laughs> but I feel like this year, like, they're all just going to be like, yo, like, this can't happen again. They're also like, well, you know, they, their franchise is done. They gave them uh, one more chance. I think this is their This like, is their last, last chance, chance before uh, the, the GM and the Leafs Pulls start the making plug. Yeah, changes. Yeah. And um, let's keep going. Um, McDermott, a lot of comments on McDermott. Uh, just watch his fights. He's not much when it comes to skill, uh, but he's a plug who punches very hard. Cool axe and spudly three say. McDermott. Honestly, uh, you know, it's like a Pizzetta type role, but I mean, I feel like Pizzetta's doing an okay job. No? Pizzetta is like fun to watch because he's the only one that's giving it his all. Yeah. But Pizzetta also is kind of a shitty fighter and like. He needs to body. get better. He needs to get better or else he's honestly going to get hurt. He's honestly going to get hurt. But with that being said, I'd, I'd sign Pizzetta on a two-year deal. Oh, for season. sure. For sure. Listen, how much is it going to cost you? It's going to cost you one, two million. Okay, man. With that being said, McDermott might be a good pick as a big body to have. He might be our next Edmondson, but without the all the skill that Edmondson brings, obviously. Yeah. He might be a good third-line big body to have. Yeah. And the second period is underway, guys. Uh, so uh, let's, see, uh, let's see if we keep it close. Let's put it that way. Let's see if we keep it close. Uh, Everyone laughing at the way I pronounce Corpusala. What? Are you serious? Are you okay? Corpus... Oh, shit. Did you hit your head today? Oh, shit, man. Corpusala. Did you hit your head today? No, I said Corpusala. Okay, I was closer than... Ah, I don't know, man. (laughs) Um, So, let's see. (laughs) Oh, my God, Alex, man. That name is just the, the end of you. So let's see. Michael Long says, "Yep, I'm. I'm hoping finals at least. That's my expectations for the Leafs this year." What? We smoked Detroit last night, seven four with five unanswered goals in the third period. Okay, well you beat Detroit. Okay. Detroit's one of the worst teams in the NHL. Which, I, gotta, I don't know what. The, what was the point in that? 
but it's okay. Mike you know, you know who you need it. to smoke? You need Tell to smoke us. another another playoff go, team. Go smoke the Vegas Knights. Go smoke, uh, you know, the Winnipeg Jets. Go smoke, I don't know, some. S- try smoking try. any of the teams we went by last Just season. try. Just try. It's okay. Even the even the Lightning. Try and try no, and keep the, it close. The Lightning, the literally, the Lightning have a chance to win another cup. They're too overpowered. Ah, uh, three Pete, I would hate to see that. But like they they are that good. Yeah. But I honestly think the favorite this season this year is, in my opinion, Colorado. If they find out a way to get really strong goaltending, they have okay goaltending. But I mean, like a not mm-hmm. a solid goaltender. If not. I wouldn't be surprised seeing the Hurricanes in the finals. The Florida Panthers make oh, this. Oh, shot, the and they get a chance at open net, and he missed it wide. Oh, my God, the Blue Jackets almost just had a fifth one. If Oof. not for Florida, Colorado, or the Hurricanes uh, and Tampa Bay, I don't know who else is good enough to make it to the finals. I think the Golden Knights are going to... Me- oh, my God. The Golden Knights have Eichel. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll the Golden Knights are intense. Oh, and the Blue Jackets get another chance. Oh, we are leaking. We are leaking chances. Another chance by Bemstrom to almost put it in. Oh, and another chance deflected right in front, passing the slot. The Canadians managed to clear. Oof, that that Rostlovich line with Domi and Bemstrom is doing quite the wonders for them. That's uh, they're producing a lot offensively, and the Canadians can't handle it. They literally just can't handle this. Oh my God. Whiteman absolutely jumps on top of. Uh, I think they're gonna. He jumped right on top of Domi, and I think. Are they gonna call a penalty on that? No. 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 Penalty. Um, let's see. Um, Forts HD says, "Nah, man, laugh all you want. The Leafs blow every lead they have. Speaking facts, and despite that, Matthews even want to still be in Toronto by then. He wants to win a cup." I think I think it's true, and I think you know it might be the same decision that Carey Price might make, and you can't fault a player for that. Uh, you guys, the Leafs, you guys need to win. This is they literally built this team for this team to win. So for you guys not even to get past the first round, it's like, uh, oof, it's very stressful. You won't have a better team than you have right now for a very long time. Uh, think about it. Yeah, that's true. Like literally, and you know what's funny? It's not. It doesn't take a lot to change the Leafs. I mean, like very honestly. Better goaltender. Oh, Jack Campbell is no, amazing no, during Cam- the regular Campbell season. Campbell has a crazy save oh, percentage. Oh, and a save. Campbell? Uh, well, you, who was the other guy you guys had? You had Campbell and another goalie. Both your goalies were solid before you traded one and you had to go with... Uh, no, no, no. Wait, it was Campbell? Who was the other guy, man, they had? I don't know. Who was your other goalie you had for last me, season before you traded him? For me, I just don't think Campbell is clutch. You know, there's, uh, there's being, you, you could good, make good saves, you know, some nice... Some nice shots right on the uh, right on the chest. I'm sure he makes them just fine, just like any other goalie in the NHL. But Campbell had a when crazy it comes to, record. When it comes to bi- yeah, I know, but when it comes to big games, forget regular season. I'm talking about big games. We saw exactly what he shows. Weak. That's what he shows. Um, regardless, what I'm trying to say is that you guys statistically, you guys have some solid lines goaltending when they want to. You have a good team. Uh, it just I don't understand how you guys can get past the first round. Literally, you have if, if you take the Le- Leafs right now, you put them in like NHL 22 or whatever new recent NHL game it is. You, and simulate, you simulate it. it they're, they're gonna win. They're not even going. They might get to the finals. Maybe the Tampa Bay win again because they're that overpowered. But I don't know. At it, least it makes, cup contenders. It makes no sense. Maybe it has to do with the fact that a lot of your players are still young. Maybe, but I mean, you know, they're getting older and older as time goes by. Yeah. Anyways, I'm, I'm done talking about the Leafs, honestly. Um, Jordan Maddy says, Qui est le meilleur gardien dans la LNH? Uh, en ce moment, ça doit être Vasilevsky. Je pense. Je dirais qu'il est meilleur que Campbell. Mais moi, j'aimerais mettre une mention en arabe pour le gardien des, des Canucks, Demko. Honnêtement, il m'impressionne vraiment beaucoup. Moi, je dirais que dans le futur, Être vraiment, vraiment bon. What do you think? Uh, I mean, Leonard is bon. No, c'est Vasilevsky. Mais je pense vraiment c'est Vasilevsky est une coche ouais. au-dessus de tout le monde. Ouais. C'est peut-être à cause de ses, euh, son équipement grand là. <rire> sait, mais ça c'est juste des rumeurs. Ouais, c'est Vasilevsky. Um, 
Uh, Pedro Rugas, this team is legitimately garbage. Yeah, uh, not by the way, not much to comment on this period, guys. Uh, it's just uh, nothing's happening. Literally, I, I wish. Trust me, we'll, we'll try and stay more focused on the game. Um, Anderson, people are saying Anderson maybe is the is the best goalie. No, 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 no. That's not what they're saying. They're, Anderson was the Leafs goalie that was oh, in Anderson. contention oh, true, true, true. with uh, Jack Campbell, and then the Leafs had to let go of one, and Anderson had been injured he was their main goalie i think mm -hmm. anderson got injured oh they're panning it to jeff gordon and ken hughes the two-headed monster as they like to call them anyways so anderson got injured became uh, he had to recover and in the meantime campbell took his spot mm -hmm. and campbell started doing really good last season and basically what happened was that like like they decided to go with him in the playoffs mm -hmm. and use anderson as a backup when he came back from his injury Mm -hmm. and they decided to let go of Anderson ultimately, and that, that was it. But the thing is, they were both very solid goalies with very similar stats last season. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, that's the story behind the backups and starters for Toronto. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, 15 minutes left in the period. Juke Jackets get a chance. Puts it over. Jackets are getting a lot of chances, but they're not putting a lot of shots on net. But the Canadians just can't get out of their zone and create anything offensively. It's just pure domination. Um, wow. It's a, it's again, it's that Roslovich line that is doing damage to the Canadians. The third line of the Blue Jackets is causing us problems, man. Where, how far have we fallen, man? Pizzetta's back on with Paling. And, um, I'm still so Pippa. sad for Petrie. After reading that, I got so, like... I wow. get it. Okay, sure. Uh, for me, it's. It, I already knew this, and I still criticize him the same. So, I no. I, I if I knew that, I wouldn't know and have been bashing him the way I've been bashing him the last few games. Like I told. Well, listen, but I, but I, I don't respect. Uh, I don't respect that. Even yesterday in the press conference after the game, he says, "Well, uh, you know, uh, you know." What they asked him, "Why didn't you defend Montembeau?" And he's like, mm, "You know, like." What do you mean? Why don't you defend him? You just say, you know, we fucked up. We should have. We should have defended him. Yeah, yeah, but this is like. Guy's oh, going through but, shit. Oh, but he's going through shit. No, but you see how ridiculous it sounds, though. It doesn't... It, you can't... It, it, nothing, nothing is excused from what happened yesterday to Montembeau. I'm sorry. No, and, no. And Guillaume Latendresse and Maxime Lapierre, they went and they made a video about how, honestly, Petrie should be gone tonight. I think he should have been gone last night. I think they should have found a way to trade him. Within the next week or so, I think they need to find a way to treat Petrie because I think it was unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. And you know what? Better for him. I agree on that stance. It's better for him. He does, he's not happy here. Okay, good. Next, move on. It's uh, you know, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be sad to play for the Montreal Canadiens in no matter what circumstance. That's my opinion. That's that's what's going to make the difference between players that are going to stay here for ten years and players that are going to stay here for two. So, you know, that's what I think. I'm I'm fed up. I'm fed up of him playing like crap. Hoffman. Takes a shot. Oh, slap shot. Blocked in front. And cleared out. Let's see. Um, let's see what we got. Um, is Joel Edmondson going to return this season? Mm, up in the air. Up That's in the true. Air. We don't I, know. He, he, went, he went out for because but, of his uh, dad, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? But you see, that's what I agree with. You know what? If you're not, oh, if you're, oh two on one, oh, two on one to Foley going around, and he tries to go back around. Oh my God! What and a Suzuki play. just misses the open net. Oof. The the Anderson the Anderson line. It looks like he's rejigged it a bit. He's putting Suzuki with to Foley and no, Ad that was no. always the line. Okay, so then it was to Foley that almost went into that move. I thought it was Anderson. Oh, and a pass in front. Oh, and a big scramble in front of them. Nothing comes of it. Getting cleared around. Kulak. Trying to make something happen, but there you go. It just gets cleared out. But what are you going to say about Edmondson? Well, I mean, Edmondson, you know, at least he's making the right decision in the sense. Oh, I think they're going to call a penalty. Are they? No. At least Edmondson, you know what? He doesn't feel ready to be in part of the team. Well, you know what? Stick, Stay out. Stay out until you feel okay to be part of this team. If you not, if you're not, don't be a part of this team. That's it. Take take as much time as you need, but don't be a part of this team. That's my opinion. What do you think? I don't know. Um, I think 
I think it's too complicated. It's like, I don't know what to say. Uh, I don't know the full story, but again, based on that one line I read in that article. Oh, what a save! Based on that one line I read in that article, it, it's it's not it, it's not as easy as that. There's, I get it. It's really but not. one line in an article also doesn't explain everything that's happened this season. The, 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 yeah, it's I'm, the same. I'm it's the same like, thing. That's why I'm saying I don't know. Like mm. I really don't. Okay. It's it's I don't think. I don't think performance, like ho- again, hockey is at the end of the day it's their job. It's not their life. To us, we see it and it's like, oh, this is their life. But no, they have a life outside of hockey. Of course. And I think like anyone doing any job, if they have a lot of shit happening personally that is affecting their well-being, I would understand why their performance at their work would not be as on par as what they used to, you know, Mm -hmm. you know, output. With that being said, because again relationships and mental health is very complicated i don't know what to think because i don't know oh anderson he breaks away is he gonna score yes he does no oh my how did he miss that he did not score (laughs) how did he miss that no goal no goal but anyways that's what i think about the the peachy situation i'm much more empathetic than i used to be about it now (laughs) i i I hold the same position just because i think when listen the truth is yeah they have a life outside of, but the truth is, when when you when you make big money and you're on a world stage and everything in any job, I think, I think that your work becomes more and more. Oh my God, a bad giveaway from Pitlick, and what, what a, a save, save from Primo! Get him out of there! Wow, what a protect save. your damn goalie! What a save! Jesus, man, they're pushing his leg inside. That they're is gonna, a great save. What a fantastic butterfly save from from Primo! Ooh. And a hit right in center ice. I don't know who just got hit there, but uh, could have sparked a fight there. Paling coming in. And uh, the Canadians, it's going to get cleared out again by the Jackets. Oh, and another save from Primo. Primo uh, being pretty solid this year. Well, yeah. I mean, they've, they've they've stopped the bleeding. Oh, can he give a breakout pass to Pitlick? No, and Paling gets pushed around. Gets dumped in. Pezzetta, is he going to get there? No, he can't. And the Canadians are making line changes, and it's... The, they're coming in. Oh, oh, nice defense by Romanov. Blocked by Romanov. Can't get it out, but now it looks like Sherrod's going to reset, and it looks like they've rejigged the um, the defensive lines. Oh, no, I think I think they've kept it. And Toffoli's going to dump it in, and Suzuki's going for it in the corner. And it's going to get cleared. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, hit the post. Oh, and it gets cleared all the way out. There we go. Rebuild, Petruga says, rebuild needs to start through the draft. Habs actually need to draft a player that still plays on their team in a couple of years. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. I think there's, uh... I think if just if we could fix the drafting, we're already miles ahead of what we've been doing for the next last 10, 15 years. Well, we're did, miles did, did ahead. Did we announce a new scouting uh, um, manager, whatever they're called? I don't think so. I think they're going to be leaving in. Um, there's there's someone by the name. I'm I'm not too sure what his name is, but they're leaving in someone that used to work under Timmons? the old guy. But I think they'll they'll fix it up. They'll fix it up. Um. Spudley says, my Google Translate is broken. I think that's when we were talking in French. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gerwinder Sansoa says, Leafs are built to play offensive hockey, which makes it hard for them in playoff games. Uh, yeah, it's true. And they don't have a lot of stay-at-home defensemen like, you know, we had, like, Sherratt. They uh, had a few. Edmondson. You guys have good defensemen, though. They had a pretty solid pairing. Who is their pairing? They have, oh, I have to Google it. I forget their names. Sorry, man, but let me Google them. You guys had pretty solid defensemen. I'm not going to lie. I think you got rid of one. Oh no, you got rid of Hyman to Oilers, which was Martin a bad idea. La, uh, Martin La Le, Le Point, La Point, I think maybe. What? But that's that's who's the scouting manager for oh. the Canadians for the next draft, and it, it might be him. Someone else get, might get hired, but I mean, uh, let's find out. Uh, Spud Lee and Nathaniel Kogan are asking us to do the like and subscribe. Let's do it. Okay, wait before we do it Tell for us. the Leafs. Morgan Riley, top defenseman, right there. You guys have Sandine, all right, Hall, okay. 
Ugh. Yeah, never mind. Your defense is pretty average. You have like probably two guys, two, three guys that are good, but it's not enough. Yeah. I think they just need like some some of these big bodies that not necessarily. But the Morgan best Riley ones, is one of the best defensemen in the league. Of course. Yeah, and us Pichu was one of the best in the league, and you know they're in a slump, and that's what it is. Anyways, yes. Um, like subscribe, like subscribe, like and subscribe to our. You better YouTube like channel, and subscribe. Please. We appreciate all of we you. We just hit two hundred last video. Insane. We're already let's, at like two hundred sixteen or whatever. We're on our road to three hundred tonight. <laughs> so let's make it happen, guys. Um, uh, Vitherson asks, uh, "What's your thoughts on the Coyotes' uh, situation?" Uh, the Coyote situation, uh, I think it's a complete joke. How do you have an NHL team playing in front of only five thousand fans? Yeah, it's pretty it's a slap in the face to every Nordiques fan. It's a slap in the face to any what, what are you talking city. About? That oh wants yeah, to yeah, have yeah, yeah. A team. Yeah. Uh, for the NHL to sit there and be like, well, the Coyotes don't need relocating. Yes, they do. Why did yes, they, they do. again? I, under, I don't understand. Oh, the thing is, because the NHL they don't bought, pay their taxes. No, the oh. NHL bought uh, the Coyotes in 2013, I think, from uh, you know, that old ownership when they were called the Phoenix Co uh, Coyotes. I mean, the NHL can't be owner of a team. Yeah, I think they own the Coyotes. No, it's yeah. other owners. Other owners. Oh, Anderson with a chance trying to pass to Evans and it just misses. I'm pretty Nothing sure the tonight. who owns the Arizona. I don't think so. I'm it's pretty sure possible. the NHL owns them. Major conflict of interest if it is. It's not owned by the NHL. Took over operations of the Phoenix Coyotes in 2009. Who bought the Arizona Coyotes? Alex Marwello. Oh. Since the 2019, yeah. So yeah, uh, the, the the NHL basically were owners of the Coyotes for about a decade, I believe, or like a few seasons. Yeah, since 2009, then 2019, someone else bought it. But someone bought them in 2013 too, I believe. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways, it's a very weird history with Arizona. I still don't understand why Bedman's trying to keep them. Maybe there's just a lot of really bad history they've, with their taxes, but... they 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 They're in too deep. That's what I think it is. They're in too deep, and now they just don't know what to do. They just have so, many, so much debt, Literally, they can't yeah. move. <laughs> I don't know. I think, no, I meant like they're in too deep in terms of all the marketing and everything that's gone around keeping the Arizona Coyotes that it would just be funny, you know, to, to say to Quebec, yeah, finally we're relocating this team and we're relocating it to, uh, you know, another place. I mean, bringing back the Hartford Whalers. You know, Whalers. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. They, they had a retro jersey night. Uh, I don't remember where the, the Hartford Whalers moved I to. think the Hurricanes. Yeah, exactly. And they had a night where they, they wore the Hartford Whalers shirts. It's yeah, cool. or uh, I'm trying to think who would be good to have, uh, who could have a team in the NHL. Portland, that could be cool. Yeah. Um, uh, what other big cities? Houston or Austin? Maybe yeah. Houston makes sense. But again, that's like literally the desert. It's their fan base isn't as intense. Mm -hmm. In Canada, I'd see Quebec City. I'd see a team in S Saskatchewan maybe. But that's rough. I don't know. Saskatchewan. The hell would want to live in Saskatchewan? That's the People problem. live in Saskatchewan. I, I suppose. I suppose. <laughs> um, Respect to Saskatchewan, but just like it's it's tough. To, it's, I'm sure it's rough to live out there, uh, especially for any NHL player. What other cities in Canada would have would want a team though, or would make sense to have bring a team to? I think right now it's like Quebec City, and then when I'm thinking of the states, I'm thinking of like Houston or Portland. I don't know. That's really it. That's pretty much it. It's, my, it's true that the U.S. is the place with the most opportunity, but you're leaving out a huge market with the Quebec Nordiques. That's yeah, but with the dollar, and it's the Nordiques. The city is only 800,000 people. Quebec City but is tiny. But there's a lot of Nordiques fans. You'd be yeah, surprised, yeah. man. It's just a tiny city. I think that's um, that coupled with the Canadian dollars, why they're like iffy about bringing them back, but I don't know. The taxes here are insane, too. Mr. Mr. Alex 400 says, we should find the biggest person alive, give them a custom XXXXL gear and shove them in the goal that should be enough for <laughs> a, a 900 yeah literally literally i, I think that's what the, the lightning are trying to do with the <laughs> with vasilevsky did you see the but picture on, of price and vasilevsky when they yeah but people are saying it's because he unleashed the straps i, I disagree I, I think uh <laughs> i think he just has the fat pads fat pads um on the coyotes are in Houston. yeah i did a sim and the leafs got to the second round and lose at least they got to the second that's better than real life 
Gold Slushy says, uh, I did a sim and the Leafs got to the second round and lost. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that makes sense too. Savar's oh. chilling. He has a nice coffee. Chilling. Who is that? That was David Savar. Oh, Savar. Why? What? Ha- oh, he's Honestly, injured. he looks like a gamer. He doesn't even look like a hockey player, like to be honest. Yeah. I'll be honest. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Jad Albatal says, uh, Primo has forgot about the A2 loss to the Wild. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, he did. I mean, Montembeau didn't. But I mean... Uh, Brutal. Brutal yeah. for goaltenders uh, for the Montreal Canadiens recently. Frédéric Gagnon says, no. Um, let's see. Wait, so Dower you? says, hey, boys, having fun listening to you fellas while I watch the tank. Heard about the <laughs> Yeah, exactly. We're, we've been talking about them almost the entire stream. Um, we'll see where it goes. I, I think that it's everything is indicating to me that he'll be traded in the near future. Romanov's got it. Six minutes left. I in see the Petrie getting treated to an American team. No other way for him, yeah. man. Hoffman's got it. Takes a shot. Deflects in behind. Oh, I saw. Else. I yeah. saw. J'ai vécu à côté de Chris Le Tang. Oh, right. That's why you're a Pittsburgh fan. It's Jordan Maddie. Ben, c'est ça. Jordan Maddie. Ça a eu de l'influence de ton voisin. C'est ça. De ton voisin, là. Maintenant, un chandail de Pittsburgh. Ta deuxième équipe. Est-ce qu'il t'a porté la coupe chez toi? Moi, je veux savoir. Oh, shit. Est-ce que t'as vu la, la coupe à côté de chez toi? Moi, je serais vraiment curieux de savoir. <laughs> Breakaway, Primo. Yeah, we read these. And Spud Lee. Shout out to Spud Lee with the like and subscribe. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Nathaniel Kogan, too. Thank you so much, guys. Hey, boys. Having fun S- listening to you, fellas. What? Oh, yeah, we read that. S- Spud Lee says uh, the southern states are going to have less fans for sure. Yeah, of course. For sure, but yeah. I, but I think uh, I think there's still a little bit more. Uh, I think the NHL is growing pretty well in the U.S. I mean, every game that I see, there's more and more fans than I used to be accustomed to seeing, especially like Lightning games or, you know, uh, Vegas. Vegas always has a lot of people. Um, but I mean, some in some of these markets, even Carolina, they're doing pretty well with their fans. Yeah, and uh, they're they're the smallest market with Arizona. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, the, the thing is, when I look at the northern side, not just Canada, like northern states, maybe Salt Lake City, Utah, that would make a lot of sense. Very icy spots. A lot of people play hockey in Utah. Yeah. I would love to see a team in, in Salt Lake City. Oh, that's cool. We'll yeah. That'd be cool. But then again, it's a, pretty, it's a it. pretty small uh, um, market. city and market. Course. So, yeah. Um, the Avs are up one nothing. if anyone is curious. Also... It looks like uh, the 49ers and Rams game just got back underway. The third quarter has started. 10-7 for the 49ers. Love to see it. Love to see he it. He loves to see it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so Dower says, I'm from Hartford. Slap in my face. <laughs> ah, damn. <laughs> like, uh, Hartford in which province? What? Hartford are in which province? Oh, I'm blanking. Wait, I, I there's, two, like there's, there's an American Hartford and there's a Canadian oh, yeah. Hartford. I think we're talking about the Connecticut, no? Like Hart- Hartford, Hartford Whalers, dude. Hartford in Connecticut. Yeah, yeah, true, true. But I feel like there's one in Canada, too. Right? Hartford, Canada. Hartford, Canada. No. Ontario. But it's like, it's not a city, dude. I, I, if there's a Cana- the, the Hartford Whalers. Hartford yeah, yeah, in I Connecticut. Basically, y- yeah. I'm from Hartford. Slap in my fucking face. Uh Look, it, 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 how t- big is the city anyways? It says 123,000 people live in Hartford, Connecticut. Would that even make sense for an NHL team at this point? I don't know. But, I mean, it's it's everyone from that from that state that's going to be following them, you know? It's, it becomes a state thing at that point. Connecticut. Oh, and it looks like Billing has a chance. Save. Population in Connecticut into... Oops. Population... Corpusalo. Connecticut Corpusalo. population, 3.5 million. All right, all right. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You guys are basically in between Boston and New York City. You're like a in-between state. Yeah. I know you guys get made fun of for that. Or do you? Don't you like have just like a university in Hartford now? I don't know what else there is there. I might Jordan, be roasting Jordan, you guys. Jordan Matty thinks uh, that Hamilton devrait have an équipe de la LNH. Hamilton, Ontario, why? They have an AHL team. It's the Hamilton Bulldogs, but honestly, they're not as big as... The population is too small. The population is too small, and it's just... They can't... If they announce an expansion team, it can't be in a city that... You know, we as Canadians, we know where Hamilton is. 
Mais là, euh, les Américains vont se regarder et dire ben, pourquoi est-ce qu'on n'a pas une équipe à Houston Pourquoi est-ce qu'on n'a pas une équipe à you know, n'importe où so, Je sais pas. Trois équipes en Ontario, ça, ça commence à en être beaucoup. Là. Comme si tu y penses. Ontario Hamilton, Ontario. Oh, Parle Hamilton, de... Hamilton. Oui, yeah, 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 yeah. Hamilton. <rire> Moi, je pensais genre euh, Nova Scotia. Non, non, non. non. Ouais, ouais. Euh... Jad Albastal says maybe the Canadians are going to score in the third period. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> second period, honestly, someone tell me what happened because absolutely nothing. Yeah. Other than the Canadians are playing a little bit better and they stopped leaking goals, I mean, yeah, uh, good, I guess. Looks like both of our score predictions are going to be wrong. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I thought it was going to be 3-2. I thought two. the Canadians were going to win. No. I don't know where I thought that. Oh, when a shot, it bounces in front. Oof. What about a, a team in Halifax? That's why I thought it, I read Halifax yeah. and Hamilton. Halifax, I mean, yeah, Nova Scotia needs a team. Yeah. But I mean, again, it's Nova Scotia. Like, that's pretty... I mean, no, there's a huge, huge, huge hockey fan base there. Yeah. Crosby and McKinnon, I think, are from Nova Scotia. Yeah, respect. Uh, Spudley says... Wisconsin. Wisconsin. That would be a good idea. Green Bay hockey team. Wow. That'd, that'd be crazy. interesting. Or Iowa... Yeah, That's these are all cool. great picks, I think. Iowa, huge hockey states. Huge, and then Hartford, Connecticut, yeah. I think it could be an option. Honestly, Wisconsin makes sense. Salt Lake City, Utah. Iowa, sure. I think uh, Halifax makes sense. Hamilton, it's a bit of a stretch. Portland, to me, makes sense. Houston, If the team sucks, no one's going to watch the games, but that would be cool because it's a huge city. Yep. To be honest, the second period has been pretty okay for Montreal. We've had a few chances. Um, it's like... It's still kind of uneventful. 4-1. We're getting outshot 22-11. It's whatever at this point, like whatever. So dour, Hartford, Connecticut. It's so crazy that you're watching this from Hartford, Connecticut. Shout out, like I, I think I, he's I, from there. I don't know if yeah, he's yeah, still no, there. exactly. So I, I'm uh, I'm surprised, like the reach of our channel at this point. Yeah, we've, uh, we've managed to, to see people from lots and lots of places. True, we got Spudley Super in cool. Denver. Am I right, or are you just January from Colorado? Hartford, Connecticut, with So Dower. We had someone from Philly. We have a lot of people from Montreal. We have Super someone cool. from Vancouver. Oh, and Corpusalo with another save. Shout out to all of you guys. Wow, man. Do you think Super NHL cool. is just speed now? Yeah, for the most part, I think it's skill. I think when you look at like the big players being, like, the top players being people like Dreisaitl, McKinnon, McDavid, um, it's hard to find players who just have big shots and score other than like Ovechkin. A good example is Patrick Liney. Kind of looking like somewhat of a bust because he's too big, he's tall, he has a shot, but he's not like a speed skater. So I think it's speed is very important. If you don't have speed, if you don't have good skating, you're pretty much gonna have a hard time in the NHL nowadays. It's not like 2010. Oh, and Corpusalo saves it right at the corner and looks like there's gonna be a fight here. Dauphin and Gallagher. No, pulling didn't out drop. Gallagher. Didn't drop the gloves. Didn't drop the gloves. Well, it looks like they're they're they're. Yeah, well, it looks like Gallagher dropped his. Um, Samantha says Samantha Miller I don't really oh no sorry I missed the oh wait I missed three, four more comments three more comments after the all-star game there's going to be 500 no. fans in the Bell Center no they said that they're not opening for 500 fans but you know uh, depends Le Go tomorrow might talk to the Santé Publique and they might tell them well Tran you know you're allowed to have 2,500 you're allowed to have 2,500 translation for those who are not from Quebec the Prime Minister of our province Uh, who's in charge of our healthcare system is going to figure out yeah. what's going to happen next is what he meant to say yes the indeed. international yes bands. indeed um it looks like i think uh the uh canadians are going to go on the power play here gallagher's uh, balding eh? yeah yeah poor guy um je voulais dire sydney crosby oh, sydney crosby. crosby what well, sydney crosby au quebec no Sidney no, Crosby. But you know, there's there's people that speak French in, in other provinces. Oh, no, no, no. Just, but I think. Oh, it's true. It's true. Yeah. Acadien, maybe. Sasper. Maybe that's why. Yeah, yeah. Sasper. Why? Tell us, Jordan Maddy, you you came from? I'm really interested to know. Yeah. Because, is Sidney Crosby lived there? In Nova Scotia? Or tell us. Um, Sidney Crosby. I don't really watch hockey, but which team is winning? Uh, I don't really watch hockey, but which team is winning? 
Um, right now, it's 4 1 for the Columbus Blue Jackets. As Montreal is see, losing. Right here, I think. It's very sad to watch. We are Habs fans and we just love to in inject pain. Uh, yeah. Every single day. That's a good way days. to put it. That's a good way to put it. It's 4 on 4 days. right now. Um, Canaan's Primo making a lot more saves. I mean, he saved everything this, uh, this season. Code Slushy, yesterday from Israel, a person. You need more someone context. Was, someone was someone was from Israel yesterday. Oh wow, really? That's I didn't even notice. There was a flurry at some point. Israel, wow, we are <laughs> really international. So Dower says, "You fellows are still on lockdown. What the hell is going on up there, fellows? I would be going crazy if I was still on lockdown." Well, so Dower, if if this wasn't on the internet, I had I would have so much to say right now, but because I don't want, I still want a job and I don't want to get canceled or anything like that, and I fear that so much. But I feel like that's an answer in itself. I mean, at that point, you just... Uh, no, it's not, because okay. I didn't say anything, really. Sure. Well, well, I'll say this. I think everyone's fed up. I think everyone's fed up, and that's a collective feeling. No matter if you think it's, uh, you know, what's being done is right or wrong, I think everyone is collectively fed up. And, uh, you know, well, we look towards the States, and we tell ourselves, well, you know, it'd be nice, maybe. You uh, guys don't understand how jealous I am like of that. the United States. That's I, it. I, I would give everything... <laughs> to just have just be able to be in the states right now but uh -huh. i know no comment but beyond that um samantha mello says okay well i'm gonna subscribe and head out Drop shout out before you go to thank samantha you so mello thank joining. you really appreciate it mr alex 400 we'll need more than 500 people booing if we want players to feel bad <laughs> <laughs> apparently they're gonna have them in the loges so i think they're gonna be having business meetings there they're not gonna be yeah it's gonna be a hockey. bunch of corporate guys yeah. like no like the loges are literally made for business meetings for yeah. team for uh, companies marissa marissa de boer what up hey i feel like we interviewed you i feel like we interviewed someone named wait marissa, marissa. yeah of course wait is did. it the marissa we know I feel like we've seen you before, but we, we did we take a picture her. with you? I think we might have, we might have, but we've taken a picture with her. And we we've done. Was she with one of our like she super with, loyal she was fans? With the guy, no, she was the guy that she converted to a Blackhawks, uh, from Blackhawks to Canadians. Oh, guy. from Blackhawks to Canadians. I think that's who she is. Is that you, Marissa? Um, Goldslechi says, "Where's Manny? We don't know. Manny Suvlaki just yo, not here today. Question, yo. We're gonna roast him next time when he." Nice Pulled luck, and we're at home. Yo, you're late, my boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah my boy. <laughs> uh, Voles or Voles says, I live in Alberta. Shout out to Alberta. Uh, oh, we're from Alberta. Alberta. I'm guessing either Edmonton or Calgary. I don't know or much about Alberta beyond Fort that. Fort McMurray. Fort McMurray. Uh, but yeah, shout out to Alberta. Jad says, I wish the whole Bell Center had fa his fans. Yeah, we want fans here too. I think, uh, I think for the risk that it poses, I think it's worth it. In my opinion. But again, oh, well, oh, that's oh so Foley. There we go, four two. What with a goal! Forty seconds left in the period. That was a nice goal. Looks like the Canadians might have a timer. Chance. Five hole. Fro Beautiful. He scored on who? Say his name. Oh shit! You're gonna see his name. Like, You're uh, just waiting for his ca name. Ca Cusp. Are good. you serious, man? Corpus Allo. Yes. 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 <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Those brains, the hey, three brain cells. I know they all like... connected together at the right time. Look, you see, Vala said Fort McMurray. I told you, don't don't sleep on Fort McMurray. Where do you man. see? Oh, Fort McMurray. And the Canadian scored. Tyler Toffoli, another goal. Good man. And uh, what that's a goal! A pass that's a nice from goal. Uh, from Lekkonen. Perfect man. Lekkonen's trade value is going up if ever they're thinking <laughs> about that. So perfect. Guys, Canadians might have a chance back in this game. Who would have thought? Let's find Jordan, out. Jordan, Maddie, I, I, I meant Sidney Crosby through Chris Letang. Mm. Uh, you, you mean you? I feel like Jordan, Mad, Jordan, Maddie, low key. You're just at the end of the day connected to all of the. I, I think yeah, you, you gotta tell us. You gotta tell us how how these connections happen. <laughs> I need some of these connections to Canadians players. So do I worry, come on down to Connecticut, run the show from down here. Would <laughs> love to. Connecticut, never been to Connecticut. Been to Boston, been to New York, never been there. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what's in Connecticut. Like, you gotta, I, I you gotta tell us what's up. There. You gotta tell us what's up in Connecticut, man. Yeah. You gotta tell us the cool stuff to do. Exactly. Literally everything. Why am I still watching the Habs? Good question. Why are we still watching the Habs? We're still watching because you guys. So well, that, that's so true. The, it, at the end of the day, this is about the guys. fans. But I mean, like, as a hockey team, just watching the Habs right now, it's very sad. Yeah. Um,. Like and subscribe. Like, like and, and subscribe. subscribe. Thank you, Jad, for reminding us. 
Uh, Marissa DeBoer is actually from Colorado. Oh, well, look, we have a Colorado fan. I was completely wrong on that one. We, we also have Spud Lee. Two Colorado fans in here. Let's go. Thank you so much, Marissa. Uh, you guys must have really liked the that Avalanche game there that we had. <laughs> yeah. Fun. Um, Frédéric Gagnos is good. Uh, uh, oh, goal. <laughs> oh, goal, goal, my bad. Spud Lee 3 says, Habs fans need to team up with the next away game team's fans and have them boo the players for them. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to start paying them. We're going to start telling them, listen... Just, like, throw a Habs jersey on the ice or something. Actually, <laughs> nah, never. But that's the thing. Honestly, if the Canadians were playing the way that they're playing now, jerseys would have been thrown on the ice every game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last game? Yeah. Whoa! That would yeah. have been disgusting. But, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. We are still in the game, Frédéric Gagnon says. Yeah, pretty, we kind of are. It's only 4-2. We kind of had a very solid second period, if we can keep this up. Listen, I mean, it was all right. We got a goal at the end of the period. Uh, it gives us a bit of hope, but I mean, uh, still a long way to go. Yeah. Because it's a long way to go, not because we can't score two more. I, I believe that, but it's just we can't concede two more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's the problem. In the next game is against the Islanders, and maybe we should get the Islanders fans to... Uh, Boo the Habs and bend them into shape, Spud Lee 3 says. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. I'd love to meet some Islander fans. We're, we're going to call up the Islanders fans who, who told us he was, they were going to win the cup. Oh, yeah, that, oh, those guys. If you guys go check out our, our, our YouTube channel, there's, there's one fan who thought that you know the Islanders were going to win the cup this year very early on, and uh, that, that ended up being a freezing cold take. <laughs> <laughs> and not a hot take at all. It was freezing cold. Um, so, yeah. Jordan right. Maddie, I met all of them. Super cool. Yo, if you have any pictures or anything, yo, let us know. If uh, Mr. Alex 400 says, if yesterday's uh, game taught me anything, expect a goal from Columbus in the next two minutes, guys. Yeah, uh, let's see at the beginning of the period, and we're going to see how it starts. I think that's usually a good indicator. If the Canadians make it past the first like four minutes without conceding, you're like, okay, this is different. I don't. This is weird. This feels very different. Might have a chance. I feel like Connecticut is Laval as a state. Is it is it like then it, every time I hear people talk or people who are from Connecticut they tell us about the fact that that's the energy it's it's one of those like suburban states Laval vibe spots but we might be wrong for those who don't know or who are not from Montreal Laval is basically the a big suburb part of Montreal and there's not much going on here so people bully people from Laval be that, telling them they're not really Montrealers. Listen, That's the joke. We're, we're 10 minutes away, man. Like, give us a bit of respect. Come on now. My channel's picture is, for, is the Fort McMurray team. Oh, we couldn't we couldn't see it. The pictures are very small, but yeah. But yeah. Uh, Marissa DeBoer says, you remember from the Colorado game, you gave me a shout out. I remember Marissa from the Colorado game. Oh, we, which we, interview was that? No, 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 no. Uh, from the like on, on live stream? Yeah, that's what I'm oh, saying. Okay, I, I, Marissa okay. has been here before. For sure. Spud Lee, Marissa, Colorado, <laughs> the Colorado fans in the chat. I'm not from Colorado. But wait, you were here in the live stream in Colorado, right? For sure. Marissa? That's what it must have been. You guys know I'm a Hawks fan. You guys know I'm a Hawks fan. Gold Slushy says. Yes, sir. Our famous Hawks fan, Gold Slushy. Always uh, putting in work. I'm honestly, I'm so surprised that you've been uh, you've been here since like. You so say many you're a Haw Hawks fan, but I think deep down you're a Habs fan. Low key, it's low like key. a low key thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, that's why you always have questions like, oh, like who would you take from the Hawks? It's like, oh, I would take someone from the Habs. Oh, it's like you're, you're you're flirting with the idea, but I get it. Right now, you're not convinced, but soon I know you will be. Um, Mike Nico says, "Express Laval versus Habs who wins." <laughs> Uh, <laughs> listen, it's going to be a tight game. Uh, it's going to be a tight game, but you know what? I think uh, I think the Canadians might be able to stay in the game. And that's lose a only funny, that's they might, a funny They might question. only be able to lose. I think the Canadians, you know, they'll be able to lose like 3 nothing only, you know? Uh, I think the Express Laval will put only three past them out of mercy. You know honestly, Express Laval, the, the line, Costa... Rugis yeah, Costa, and Mikey. Rugis and Mikey. Yeah, let's go. I think that's a solid nine. That's a I solid think that's line. that's gonna do some damage. Let's make it happen, Mike, Nico. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So thank you for joining the, the stream. Like yeah. and subscribe. You, you you know which Mike this is, right? Who? Uh, oh, Mike Nikolidakis. Yeah, oh shit! Yeah. What's up, man? <laughs> Damn, yo, literally, Express Laval. You know how I knew it's Michael Nikolidakis, but for those who are watching, he's a friend of ours. It's the profile picture of. Shaquille O'Neal making a face. It's, it's, <laughs> I just know that's, that's so Mikey. Jokes. Yeah. 
Y'all lived in Laval your whole life? Yeah, pretty much. Yes, sir. Born, Born and raised. raised. Ooh, look Ooh. at that. We finish each other's. We finish each other's. Yeah. Apples. Apples. There we go. Look there at we us. go. Look at us. Um, <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. I'm from Canada. Welcome, Marissa from Canada. Um, You're acting like she. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm welcoming them. No, no, she's she's been here before. Um, hello, Nathaniel from Nathaniel. Says hello, good. Good Stephanie afternoon. Matar, 49ers lock. We love to see it. 17 7 for the 49ers. Seven, yeah, let's take a look at that right there. Man, I should have bet on it. Pain, well, pain. I just chickened out. Guess who has plus three and a half on the 49ers? Oh, you bet? Yes, yes sir. You already good know. Bet. I have Tyler. Shout out to Stephanie. <laughs> let's go. Drop some locks in the chat, Stephanie. I have Tyler Toffoli, Josh Anderson, Nick Suzuki, Carey Price, Jeff Petrie, and Shea Weber hockey cards. Oh, that's cool. Ja- Jad Albatal is flexing those, on are us. Those, are those rookie cards or just like in general you have the cards? Jad- I stopped collecting, man. I stopped collecting in like 20, 2010, I think I stopped collecting. It's crazy. All those binders from like two, three years where I went crazy, I think. Wow. Um, in Fort McMurray, the hockey team has the loudest goal horn in Alberta. You might have the loudest goal horn in Alberta, but you know what you don't have? The loyal fan base that Montreal has. I went there. The link is less... less like, but but I, I get what you're saying. They're showing, the, again, the... the, 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 the I said loyal. Like, loudest fan base. Loudest. What I did I said say? loyalist. Yeah, I said loyal by mistake. I meant loudest. Uh, uh, I, 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 messed, I messed up my know, line. That's how I was so confused. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know who has a loud-ass goal horn, too? Calgary. You you know when the, like the red light goes. What on about the Columbus the one with with the with the boom? You know the ah oh, yeah 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 yeah. They have it's not a, it's not a goal horn, isn't it? Maybe it's only in the beginning of the game where they like have the the thing that like fires the the, the cannon. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Or the, the the hurricanes the. Oh yeah yeah yeah, so annoying man. So, the Habs blue line sucks. Amen to that. Mike Nico with the heart emoji and the love. We love you too, man. We love you too, Mike Nico. La Valourien. Haha, it's been 10 years since I moved here. Yo, listen, Either man. Son. Name me another place that has care for Laval. You can't. There's love only one. Unique. Unique. Down, that's downtown Laval, it's man. <laughs> you already know where you can run up on me. Downtown Laval. Um, Stephanie Matar says, the lock is this channel. Subscribe. Thank that's you. That's a fact. Like Actual. and subscribe. We love you all for watching. We appreciate every Let's single go. one of you. I became a Habs fan out of pure hatred for the Bruins when the Whalers left Connecticut. I chose to follow the B's biggest rival, fell in <laughs> love with the team. That's amazing. When did the Whalers leave Connecticut? I feel like that was... No. Wasn't that like like 70s or something crazy like that? Or am I, I wrong? Know. Let me Google it. Let me Google but it. But I, I, love, I love the way you started rooting for them that's literally the funniest thing i've ever heard like you hate the team so much that you follow their biggest rivals respect that's like next level revenge (laughs) that's so funny okay the hartford whalers guys it's figured out here oh they left in 97 97. makes sense makes sense they they were active from uh 79 to 97 my bad yeah and then they became carolina hurricanes i'm curious uh why not to become a hurricanes fan because they relocated to the hurricanes Hmm. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, tell us. Spudley3 says, I have Pokemon cards, not many very hockey cards. Alone. <laughs> yeah, if you I have, have a Charizard, you, you might be rich. Oh, yeah? They go for a lot? If you have a 10 on 10 Charizard, you might have hundreds of thousands of dollars on lock right there. Ain't no way. Yeah, I think it, Actually? Yeah. Did oh you not God. watch Logan Paul? You're not seeing no. his uh, Pokemon stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't watch that. A, a new box of 1990s Pokemon cards yeah. will fetch you a few... Like tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands. That's insane, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rocky card. Uh, Rocky? Rookie card. Oh, rookie card. <laughs> so jokes, man. Marissa DeBauer. Go, go Byron. We love Byron. Spud Lee. Lock, lock, lock. Yo, locks on locks on locks. That's right. Let's get it. Well, listen, we're not here just to have fun. We're here to make money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We are not financial advisors, though. We are, we are not just, financial advisors. Just putting it out there. The Fort McMurray team has a record of 73-1-0. and zero. What, what kind of hockey is this? What kind of yeah, league is actually, this? Yeah, actually, are they playing AHL, ECHL? Let us know. WHL? Maybe it's one of the junior leagues. Maybe. Gotta let us know. 
yeah, they both said 1997. Yeah. Vitor also said also at the time when the Habs were horrible. Yeah, the Habs were horrible True. late 90s and early 2000s to the point where it, it's no known fact. People would watch the Montreal Expos more than the Habs, which is unheard of. Wow. And uh, yeah, it was bad. Anyways, the Habs got sold eventually after the, the, that really long and bad run. Mm. But yeah. Damn. Um... Marissa DeBoer says uh, the Whalers rink was in a mall. Are you serious? Yo, yo, look that up. Look that up. Home Arena. Okay, this is when you guys played in New England. Springfield Civic Center and Hartford. Hart. Yo, Civic Center. It's like Civic Center. Oh, it is a mall, bro. Think about it. It's like the Civic Center. Like actually, yo, that's crazy. No, 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 no. This is not a mall. Okay. Wait, uh, what about the XL Center? That's an arena, no? Hmm. That's an arena. You guys had an arena. Yeah, but apparently apparently one of the uh, there was a few mall, there was a few places that was but written there. You guys you guys were playing at Mass Mutual Center, which I'm guessing is a mall in Springfield. But that's Massachusetts. Uh, no, no. Is it? Yeah. Am I dumb? Yeah, you're right. It's Massachusetts. Springfield, Massachusetts. But so just go back on the Hartford Whalers page, right? No, no, I did. This is what came up. Look. No, look. It's at different places. Oh, they even played in Boston at some point. You see, Massachusetts. No, they because they were the New England Whalers. Ah, true. Until in the '79, but then, in, in when they were in Hartford, they played at the Excel Center. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, which is an arena. Cool. Oh. Um. What else? So Dower says, "Fuck the Hurricanes! They stole my team." <laughs> Pure bitterness. I, you know what? I, I feel you, but I mean, I don't know if it's their fault necessarily. But I mean, you know, it's. Uh, I, I I would hate for like let's say you know my team to be relocated. I think it would drain me. Like just you can't go to watch the games anymore. You're not really a fan of the same team anymore. Like you know you were a fan of the same team, but it's like. You're gonna buy new merch, and you're gonna follow a team that's in another city. It's uh, the Nordiques fans did it. Some of them. But some I mean, of them are, uh, are Colorado fans. Some of them are like, well, no, we gotta wait for the Nordiques to return. You know, it's like a, the second arrival of Christ type thing. You know. But uh, <laughs> it's funny you say that because there's a thing when Montreal's got the Montreal Canadiens got sold a, a few times over the last few decades, um, or like three, four times. I forget the exact number. Hmm. In the deals, they when they would transfer ownership, it would say that. The owner is not allowed to relocate the team. Oh yeah. I think it's like protected by the government or something like that, and mm-hmm. you're not allowed to relocate the Montreal Canadiens or something. Well, and anyways, why would smart. you? Relocating the Montreal Canadiens is like trying to relocate the New York Yankees or the Dallas Cowboys or like the the, the Red Sox. It's not gonna happen ever. You know. Yeah. They're, they're, these teams are way too rooted in their history in their cities for that to happen in a in, in any way. Yeah. I agree. It would be literally impossible. Um, Volis says the Alberta Junior Hockey Hockey League. Aha, uh-huh. the Fort McMurray. Really, I, I, I wonder. Are there any famous players that have come from Fort McMurray, uh, from the Fort McMurray hockey team? Let us know. Um, Goat Slushy says favorite fast food pr- place in Laval. Ooh. Uh, favorite fast food place. It may, it's not Laval. It's literally one minute away from Laval but Paolo Suzanne Paolo Suzanne which is actually a, it's really good the popcorn chicken poutine is amazing if not for that some good spots oh, it's hard to say there's so many good spots I'd say like uh, honorable mention like up and coming Cali MTL never been never been to Cali MTL no Bro, we need to go. Bro. There's, there's crispy that, chicken, man. Like, yo, it's it's too good, too good. I love crispy chicken. Never been. It's too crazy. There's a uh, poulet rouge I really like. Bustan, it's everywhere, but I really like. Yeah. Those poulet, are like very easy huge fan of love. poulet rouge. Yeah. That's like just you just get full, man. That's exactly what I want. You but the thing is, full. it's it's carb. Like, as someone who like gets bloated eating a lot of like rice and potatoes and stuff like that. It's very much like 95% rice potatoes and then a bit of meat, but it's still amazing. I love it. I feel you. Um, so Dower says, uh, it's not true. 
the Excel Center, aka the old Civic Center, is an arena, not a mall. And Vitersan thinks that it was an older arena that was in a mall. It's big though. We saw the pictures, and Excel Center looked like a like a full on arena. Maybe, yeah. Like if you Google it, that's what it showed us. But maybe mm. we're wrong. Maybe you're right. Interesting. Okay. Um. So, uh, what's it called? Vithersan says, yeah, the Canadians almost relocated in the late 90s. Is that true? Are you serious? No, that's, I don't think that's true. Wait, let's Google this. L Google that. Montreal Canadiens relocation in the 90s. I don't think that's possible. I don't believe that because there was... In, it, almost it was relocated to Cleveland. Wow. 80 years ago. No, no, what do you mean? Oh. Uh -uh. Uh, wait, wait, wait. He said the 90s, though. Seven cities that make sense for NHL relocation? Houston. Control F Montreal. I want to know which which smart person said that Montreal no. should be relocated. There's no chance. No, Montreal's not in there. Yes, yes, it was. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Never mind. But Halifax is a top team that they say should be re relocated. Yeah. Um, we we don't find anything on the internet other than some news about like the 1920s, but that's like old. Hmm. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe... Wait, maybe we found something here? Before Gillette in 2001. Is it this? Oh, apparently, yeah. Apparently that, that was actually a thing. Nothing I guess not. found. Tell, tell us about it. Um, Nothing let's keep found. Going. Uh, oh well, the the relocation that was going on is the that's true. Jean Coutu when he bought the ex, he was part owner of the Expos, mm. and uh, there was a thing going on with the Molson family where Jean Coutu had approached. Jean Coutu is also he's like an owner of a lot of pharmacies um, in Quebec called Jean Coutu, and he's like a one of the richest guys from the the province, and he was like owner of a bunch of sports teams. He he wanted to be a part of the Canadians, I think, but he was like dealing with the baseball team and it was a whole ordeal, but anyways, yeah. Cool stuff. So, I'll be right back. Valles says Scotty Upshaw uh, was a famous player from Frederi uh, from uh, Fort McMurray. Colton Perinko. Well, I know Scotty Upshaw. Well, oh, not bad, not bad. Uh, Vitterstein says a gem. Hmm. Wallace says there's one coming into the NHL next year. His name is uh, Taji Harding. Well, I'm going to keep a look on it. With the amount of picks that the Canadians are going to be taking this year, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up with us. Taji is 7 1. Jesus Christ, that's like a giant. What the hell do you want to do with 7 1, man? Like, it's like Hal Gill type vibes. It's crazy. Yeah, in there, in the, in the cold room. No, 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 no. In the other room? Straight ahead of you? Yeah, that one right there. Uh, Mr. Alex 400, j'étais sur le point d'écrire Je viens de Québec et aucune chance que j'encourage l'avalanche, alors je comprends les fans uh, des Whalers à 100%. Ouais, je trouve ça vraiment intéressant de voir si vous décidez sinon de, de supporter l'équipe qui, qui bouge à une autre place ou vous restez fidèle à you know, l'équipe de Québec. Quand il retourne à Québec, ben moi je suis fan. Mais moi, de ce que j'ai vu quand on est allé faire des entrevues euh, après une game des Avalanches, il y avait quand même beaucoup, beaucoup de fans des, euh, des Nordiques qui supportaient encore euh, l'Avalanche. Euh, so, intéressant. By the way, guys, score update 49ers 17 14. The Rams slowly creeping back into this game. Is it going to be enough? It's fourth quarter. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, Vintersan says, I saw a video on YouTube talking about the struggles in the 90s. Oh, oh and a scramble in front! That's and Toffoli couldn't bang it home. And they're going to call a hooking penalty, and the Canadians are going to have a power play, I think. Wow. There we go. Whoa, 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 guys. Wow, 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 wow. We might have a chance. Wow, wow, wow. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Here we go. Well, Rensky, he's another good player. Toffoli fixed the shot. Even the camera got fooled. 
And he moves in and, man, so, so close. Almost put it through the legs. And the Canadians are now on the power play. Let's see what we can make of this. Lekkonen, all the way back to the point, to Hoffman. Hoffman's got it. Passes it back to Weidman. Weidman, looking for options. He finds Hoffman, passing in the slot. Oh. Doesn't go anywhere, gets deflected. Passing behind to Toffoli. Toffoli can't get it out of his skates. Goes in behind of Hoffman and oh, he's gonna make a play for it, but looks like Primo's gonna get out of his net for this one. And Hoffman's gonna take control again. A minute 30 left on this power play. Oof. Uh, Marissa DeBoer is asking for us to play the Montreal goal horn. You know, I'll tell you what, if we win the game, or at the end of the game, we'll play the goal horn. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't play it right now the way we've been playing. Like Imagine the game finishes like 7-2. I yeah. can't put that goal horn. We're gonna goal, look like goal clowns. horn only happens when it, the games make sense. Like yes, now sir. it's depressing. Um, breakaway, breakaway, breakaway on a, again on a shorthanded goes wide. Oh my lord! Who missed that? Bjork Bjorkstrand, I think missed that. Bjorkstrand. Or Booney Jenner? No, I think it was Jenner actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jenner completely missed that one. So, um, what a bad shot by Jenner. Wow. Apparently, Taji is uh, going to the Blackhawks for sure. He even said it. Oh, wait, um, who? Uh, there's a guy apparently from Fort McMurray. He's like seven one. Oh, oh. And he's going to the Blackhawks. Really interesting. We'll see. Um, Spud Lee says like, subscribe. <laughs> oh, you know what time it is. It's time to <laughs> like, subscribe, like, subscribe, like. S if, guys, if you can just like simply just yeah, like, just please subscribe, subscribe to us. Like, honestly, great. like we'd really, really appreciate it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay, we awesome. almost finished each other's. Oranges. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs suck. Toronto Maple Leafs oh, suck. sorry. <laughs> I thought we were thinking the same thing. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much, guys. Drop a comment. Drop a like on this video. Drop uh, a like. Drop a. Drop a like. Drop a walk of flame. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, um, Gold Slushy says, "Is it just me, or uh, the refs have been a lot nicer with the Habs?" Uh, I don't know. I, I think mean, everybody's we're just finally pitying. getting some calls going our way. Yeah, uh, I think at the beginning of the season it was terrible. I mean, even two weeks ago, that Arizona and Blackhawks team terrible. Mm -hmm. And uh, there goes a very uneventful power play for the Canadians. Literally nothing happened. But the good news is we didn't concede when we very easily could have there on the shorthanded chance. Booney Jenner just completely skied it. Skied it. Skied it. So, yeah. Um, Marissa DeBoer, I want to hear it. So, go Habs, go. Yes, sir. Let's go. Go Habs, go. Um... Spudley three. You all seen Nathan McKinnick broke his nose and cheekbone. Yeah, Homie it was had face rough. Hurt. That honestly, what rough. a dirty hit by Taylor Hall. You saw it, yeah. and and yeah. you know what the problem is? It's like it was accidental though. I, I I get it's accidental, but I don't know. He was just so nonchalant. It's like he didn't even realize what he had done. It was Hall? so weird. Yeah. No, but that's like, what I'm saying. It's because it was an accidental. Like I know it was. But no one processed nice it. hits like that. Like you know, he, he didn't have the puck. It was just I don't know. Then again, listen. Uh, there was no. Uh, there was no call on Spurgeon for the hit that he did on Dvorak. So, you know, the NHL uh, safety are yeah, quite... Yeah, that uh, didn't make sense to me. I can't believe it still. But the, the, the Hall hit on McKinnon kind of reminded me of Corey Perry's Hall, uh, hit on Tavares. It's Oof. like it's like bad Hard hits like that. that. No, but I'm saying it's bad hits like that that look very painful and like get the, the players to be out on injuries. But they're very accidental, as bad as they look. Mm. You know? What can you do at the end of the day? They just... Like they, they just happen to collide. That's all it is. Oh, I hate to see those. Um, so I Dower says, is it bad that I don't want to win this game? Let's just get the best pick possible. Yeah, right Listen, way, right way, we'll take it. I, I think so. I think it's just, I, I still want to see the Canadians play well, no matter what. You know, I want to see them play good, good two last periods. You know, I mean, the last period wasn't amazing. But I mean, uh, you know. The one thing that's for sure, though, guys, yeah, is that right now in the stands, uh, Kent Hughes and Jeff Gordon are both sitting right next to each other yeah. in a lodge, watching this game, very much 
unimpressed. Unimpressed. <laughs> and thinking of what's going to happen in the future. It's like, you saw them. They panned to them. Yeah. They're both literally sitting right next to each other. Yeah, and they're just watching us. So, like, so the, I don't know what they're planning, but whatever it is. Oof. Oh, oh what a away. chance here from break line away, break away. Save from Primo on another breakaway. Wow. We're giving Excellent. breakaways. Oh, like another blocker save. Literally and another save like from nothing. Primo. And it goes out. Wow. Good. But that's what I'm saying. Primo, it's 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 on and off. It's on and off with this guy, man. You can have good games. You can, you can have bad ones. Same thing for Montembeau, I guess. Uh, they're not they're not that different. They're really not that different when I think about it. So, yeah. Mm. Um. Spudley three says the hit wasn't that bad. His stick smacked in his face. Ah. Uh, yeah, it was the accidental. Like it, it he was hit the him, and the then stick the stick just like uh, just like hit him in the face okay. from the recoil. Mm. So, uh, Mr. Alex four hundred says it's not about winning. It's not about losing seven. It's it's about not losing seven two. I, I think that's that's exactly my opinion. Yeah. I just don't want to see the Canadians completely gas out and like lose this game by like eight goals. I, I can't I can't handle that. Because for me, it's like the guys are out there, they're not fighting for each other. And that I don't love to see. Oh, and it looks like the Canadians are going to be penalty. They're going to, there's a penalty coming up. And the Blue Jackets have six men on the ice right now. Let's see if they make us pay. Ooh, there we oh, go. Whoa, Good job. On a short -handed. Good job from Suzuki. Oh, what am I saying shorthanded? It's a penalty. And they're calling someone for slashing. Who are they calling? Wideman. Bad discipline, you know. Like it's you know, there's 14 minutes left in this game. Yeah. They can very easily go and get two goals here. Yeah. Where though? I don't see the slash. I didn't see the slash. Yeah. Wasn't super. Uh, wasn't super crazy. Uh, Marissa De Boer says, "I want Byron to score like he did in game one." <laughs> I'd love for Byron to score, period. <laughs> no matter yeah. how he does it. But you know what's funny? Actually, it came out in the news that when uh, before game one against the Maple Leafs, um, they had injected him with painkillers for his hip. And I don't know if you remember, Paul Byron scored in game one. And how did he score? Like, friggin' like, on the floor, like, hitting his hip and scoring. So there's serious? so much, like, there's so much context that goes into that now. Are you that it, I, I swear, it came out. It came out. That's how, that's how they, they explain it. They injected him with painkillers on yeah, his Yeah, painkillers before. And literally, how does he score? He scores with his hip. It's so funny. Wow. Wow. Super crazy. You couldn't man. feel anything. Yeah. This guy was probably... This guy was dying. <laughs> no, actually, no. If the painkillers were working... Nah, this were guy right was, now, was on some, like, weird... Like, yeah. Like but morphine you see, thing. Those are some guys that want to play for the shirt that you know I I, I respect enormously. Byron has the same energy that Dano Pizzetta. Yeah, Pizzetta Dano. You know I, I think of Dano more specifically because just like Arngachinu. Oh Evans chance! Let's oh, go! Nice goal! Let's go! Nice what goal. a great goal on a two on one! That is a nice. The goal. Canadians are back in this game. Wow! Wow! Who would have thought? That's beautiful. Lekkonen with a goal on the pass from Jake Evans. Super great goal. Wow, nice wow, goal. wow. Nice goal. 4-3. Luca, tu parles français? Oui, on parle français. Le Canadien vient juste de marquer un but excellent. Une passe de Jake Evans, un 2 contre 1. Puis une passe juste What en avant goal. de la slot. Puis Lekkonen wow. qui a définitivement eu ses malchances cette année avec euh, certaines chances qu'il a eu, Mais là... He scored that one. Wow. No no doubt on that one. No hesitation. Evans. And there you go. Amazing. Evans is having a fantastic second half of whatever this season is already. I'm loving it. So Ninja Tough 4-3. Yes, sir. Marissa DeBoer says yes. Spud Lee 3 says let's go. We even have an Avalanche fan cheering for us. It's true. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Come on. All right. Nathaniel Kogan, let's go. Let's go, guys. Come on. And, the, and we scored shorthanded, by the way. So the Bla the Blue Jackets still have 30 seconds on their power play, and Dauphin's going to dump that one. And, uh, yeah, there we go. The Canadians managed to kill off this power play. 26 shots to 23 shots. Great. Primo playing amazing. Good stuff. Primo, Honestly, uh, these yeah. last two periods, not bad. Fantastic. Fantastic. Toffoli's going to bank it off the boards, and it's going to get cleared out. 
And will they be able to avoid an icing? Oh! And a mistake by Corpus Corpusala! God damn it! No. Corpus. Say it. I dare Corpusalo. you. Yes. Damn it. There you go. Yeah. Corpusalo. There you go. Um. Patrick and Sianis, the Habs are back in this game just to concede two unanswered goals. <laughs> well, let's hope not. Oh, looks like Romanov is being hooked in behind. No call on the play. Gallagher. We are back, though. Someone. Come on. 11 minutes left. We could do something here. Primo gets a poke check on it. Block what in a front. Block. Beautiful by Sherratt. And the Canadians are going up the ice. Dauphin making his way on the inside. No Shoot offside. It, what is the Dauphin doing? Gallagher takes a shot. Oh, save! Dauphin did something oh, smart. Oh, Sherratt gives a nice little check. Oh, <laughs> and they collide again together with Dauphin. No call on the play. And Robinson is very slow to get up. He's asking for a penalty. It's not his fault. I mean, Dauphin just got pushed by someone else who fell on Robinson. Wow. I mean, come on, guys. So, uh, there we go. Oh, uh, oh, we're back. Oh, and a chance. Gallagher... Here's Clegg making a pass. Shoot, oh save. Oh my God. Rep around. Evans is trying to make it happen again. Clegg, pass in front. Oh. Deflected. No, and no oh chance in front. Oh my God, guys. Anderson working hard in the corner. He finally gets it. Pass it in front of the slot. Doesn't get a chance. Evans. Shoot him, man. Takes a pass to Anderson. Anderson turning around into the boards. Anderson, Clegg. Clay takes a shot, block in front, another save on the glove! Oh my god, that was And it gets close. saved at the line by Clay! Shoot it! Evans man. again, shoot Anderson it. shoot! Block! Oh! oh! No! And it gets hit off the post! Oh, oh my we god! Saw the puck. And a chance! Shoot it! In the side! Oh! Oh! No! Oh my god! No goal! Oh! That was so close! Oh, it's a two on one the other way! No! They score! No! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my! And you just close no! the door. No! No! Oh, that was so bad. No! That was so bad. We no! had 20 million chances no! right there. No! 20 million chances, no! and they score, and no! it's fine. Even even the Montreal Canadiens players no! are laughing. They're all smiling. No! Wow! That I was can't stupid. believe that. Weidman bites. Oh. Just sniped it top corner. Oh. That was funny. That was no. funny. We had 30 million chances. Oh my god. Guys. And I don't know where Cylinder comes in. Cylinder goes and snipes it in the top corner. What what do these blue jackets do in practice to be shooting in the top corner like that? I know, Someone uh, needs to tell me, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. What the hell? Chaos. That was so insane. Chaos. That man. was insane. Oh my god. No way. No way! Like, no way, man. Yeah. Ain't no way. Come on. It's <sighs> 10 minutes left, guys, or 9 that just, minutes that left. That just killed me. That just killed me. Nah, nah, it's 9 minutes left. <sighs> oh, Suzuki. Suzuki, is, aren't they going to call interference on that? Nah, that's not interference. <sighs> and Kulak got at the point. And... Terrible pass from Suzuki to Petrie, and Petrie is uh, trying to reset this attack. Oh, that just took the life out of me. Damn. I can't believe what we just witnessed. That was like, like, ser like seriously, that might have been the best passage of play that yeah, the Canadians have had all season. That was great. Like the passing at Jake Evans, like that was all over the that place. Anderson, great. oh my God. Oh, we're oh, back. Dauphin? Missed the pass. Lekanen? Missed the pass. Man. Wow. Ninja Toph, thank you for uh, for saying no, I agree. Marissa Divorce has fucked this dude, yeah. Mr. Alex 400, oh my god, this is ridiculous. So dour, life as a Has fan, it's okay, we don't need this win. Oh, but man, how terrible. Oh, and a quick chance. And what a... Oh, you oh come on, that's a clean hit! That's a clean hit. Romanov gives a clean hit, they're calling him a penalty for this check on Voracek. I think he, it's because, like, it was the, after Voracek had the puck. No, no, man. He still had but that position. was a clean You're hit. still allowed to finish your check. I know, that was a clean I hit. don't get it. Whew. Mr. Alex Forange says, I was writing one point and an OT loss would be enough to keep the tank going during that goal. 
Well, yeah, that's the point, you know? Like, we can still go to overtime and lose, you know? That doesn't change anything. And I mean, you know, at this point, two points doesn't change anything for us. <laughs> like, we're, we're no going to finish 31st in the league instead of 32nd. Yeah, it's not going to change much. Um, oh, my God. Marissa DeBoer says, let's just be the worst and get Shane right. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Ninja Tof, uh, actually, I think uh, it's it's um, it's the Columbus Blue Jackets are going to be on the power play, not the Canadians. So yeah, Jad Albatal, go Habs, go. Oof. Man, yeah. <sighs> Let's check on Twitter what's happening, what the people are saying. By the way, guys, crazy, we're at 38 followers on Twitter. Yes, sir. We we're at like 20 something. Yeah, like, I told a few this. Days I ago. some people. Get some more fans. Bah. I'm fed up. I'm just fed up. Oof. And take a look, guys. The only guy that can save the Habs right now. The only guy that can... Yeah, Tom Kostopoulos, man. <laughs> Yo, listen. The only guy that can save the Habs, Tom Kostopoulos. Tom Kostopoulos, one of the best enforcers Guys, if you guys take a look at the screen over here, the 49ers, 17-17 with the Rams. So... Crazy. That, very I, tight game. That game. And six, six minutes honestly, and 45 seconds left honestly, to go. Honestly, dude... What? <laughs> we need to switch it, huh? Look, I'm not saying switch it. I'm nah. all I'm saying Listen, is that by I'm the time six minutes and forty five seconds in in, uh, in, Q4. in NFL is like yo, it's like an hour. I'll I'll put it. I'll stream it on my, on the laptop here, just to see what's happening in the NFL, guys, because sure. it's a tight Go game there it. too. I'll just keep it on mute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. Let's go to my favorite legal streaming service. Alexandro Tomasi says, games. "Nice setup. Thank you." Thank you. We work hard on it. Yeah. Uh, I'll actually, you know what? I'll show you guys what's behind it. I thought you were gonna. Right. Are you guys ready? Drum roll, please. Make sure they make sure it's nice and visible. Hey, it's wow! Just, it's a cardboard thing. What is it? It's just a. It's really just oh, a bookshelf. A bookshelf. Oh. Like a half destroyed bookshelf. Half destroyed bookshelf. That's it. Crazy, crazy, crazy. There you go. This is what the. Expensive, high stakes production gets oh, you. Yeah. There we go. Hollywood is shaking right now. Hollywood is shaking, bro. Hire us to make a movie. <laughs> let's go. All right, guys. Let's see what's happening with the NFL. We have another gold slushy. It's seventeen seventeen. Yes, sir. Six minutes and forty five seconds left in that, and the Canadians are on the uh, penalty kill the for PK. one minute forty. PK. PK. Oh, and a lot of chances. Primo with another save. Primo doing pretty well tonight. Wow. I have to give it to him. Those lyrics. Primo doing pretty well tonight. The Canadians have conceded five Pr goals in four games in a row. No, we've conceded ten goals in the last, like, how many periods? Yeah. Just, uh, Stephanie has the stats for us. 24 goals. If you check it on Twitter, before, yeah. yeah. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, we are terrible. The good news is the 49ers are playing, and it's my other favorite team. And I hope they win, even though it's 17-17. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go P, remember, okay, I'm going to go for real. What? What? I'm going to go P, remember, okay, I'm going to go for real. All right, Marissa, well, I hope Marissa, you had a good P. Take care. Uh, if, if you come going. back, I hope uh, I hope all went well in the bathroom. And yes, indeed. Thank you for for watching. What Thanks, she she, no, she shared you. that I'm gonna I, share I like, that I like, that, I like that, I that you're being complete. Appreciate the uh, that I'm gonna appreciate my fans. Thank our you. fans. What am I saying? My fans are our fans. They're our fans, bro. We yeah, are all each other's fans. fans. Um, Vola says, "Oh, not what I thought. What did you think it was? I'm I'm curious now. What, what did you think I did I did with this in the back?" Um, Vittersan says, pain for shame. Yes. It's the motto. That is the motto. Pain for shame. There is no other way. No pain, no shame. Six minutes left in the period. The Canadians are now uh, at even strength. Oh, oh, Toffoli oh. Toffoli finds oh, Clay. Oh, Clay. Oh, that's Clay. Bad. Clay. What are you doing, Clay? Clay, buddy, Clay. And it's going to be icing. Buddy, Clay. Come on now. With Whoops. Jeff Petrie. Oof. Tough. Tough night, man. Aye, aye, aye. Jackpot City. Man, that's a long-ass inter... That's a long-ass friggin... Uh, I know. I, th I don't know. Oh. 
There we go. We have on the computer right now, guys. We have the NFL. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Shoot. Cover, but cover it. That was fair use. Fair use. Absolutely. We're commenting on it. Um, um, so it's 17 17 in the NFL. Fourth quarter, 6 49 left. And the NHL, six minutes left. Montreal is losing by two. Mr. Alex 400. Well, that's enough Habs fan pain for me tonight. <laughs> uh, guys, uh, just subscribe. Bon fin Thank Merci you so much. Beaucoup, Merci. Uh, Mr. Alex 400. Drop a like and uh, hope we see you again for the next Habs Pain uh, Habs Pain TV. Habs Pain we're gonna, TV. We're gonna change. We're gonna change our Habs name. Pain TV. There we go. There's the our tank new. Continues. There's our new name. Um, Marissa DeBoer, once again watching my favorite streamers. Thank you so much. Thank wow. you, Marissa. Favorite streamers. We wow. appreciate I don't know. you. We're, we're we're young in the game now. We we don't we don't know everything, but we're getting better. We're uh, we hope we make it entertaining for you guys. Just to start. And uh, Clegg, Petrie, Hoffman's got it. And uh, there we go. Cylinder gives it all the way to Robinson. Gets dumped in. Petrie trying to keep it out. And that's uh, pretty much the story, guys. Marissa DeBoer says, I got to sub. Yes, you do. You absolutely do. That was the lock of the day, for, according to Stephanie. So you got to do it. Drop a like on the video, too. That's going to help us a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, Gold Slushy, can we see the hockey cards? Uh, we'll see at the end of the game, but I think for now, uh, just I think bring we're going to leave it game. for next game. We'll, we'll show like uh, the ones you didn't show. We'll just yeah. bring, what we'll do is, we'll how about this? We'll through another binder. Every time there's a game, just bring another binder. Yeah, we're going to go through one binder at a time. Every game. Uh, guys, um, did you guys watch tonight, today? Uh, Canada beating USA in the World Cup qualifying. Canada is going to the World Cup if everything goes well. Can you guys imagine that? That's crazy. In 2022, we're going to see Canada in the World Cup in Qatar. That's insane. That makes no sense to me. It makes no sense. And what a game today. It was one nothing for the longest time. Canada were like time-wasting. Greece yeah. Euro 2004 style <laughs> and just like in the dying seconds we get another goal sealing it against USA I love it crazy. they were playing in the cold weather of Hamilton Ontario crazy crazy the scenes were unbelievable unbelievable without Alfonso Davies by the way too so is it Davis or Davies uh, Davies oh I thought it was Davis Alfonso Davies yeah there we go um, what else I mean um Marissa did it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, also, big news this week. Lundqvist retired. Let me oh, know what you guys think I about forgot that. about that. Lund yeah. Lundqvist retired. Apparently, Capitals are going to retire his jersey too. That's You weird. know why? why? Because apparently he went undefeated with them. So but he retire. never played. Apparently he did. No, he didn't play. Well oh, exactly. So exactly. So it, I guess like a, I guess it was a joke. I guess it was a joke I read on Twitter and yeah, I that's a, it. <laughs> this is what this is how you have people like spread misinformation. <laughs> you have guys like him just believing anything on Twitter. <laughs> misinformation. Do not listen. They're gonna put up a little uh, banner. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Lugvist, legendary goalie. The guy being retired in the, you're getting his jersey retired in. Can't believe you never MSG. won a cup, man. Never, look, it's not. It might not happen to anyone. It's like Carey Price. Carey Price might not win a cup, but he's gonna get his jersey retired in Montreal. That's for sure. Yeah. It's it's just gonna happen. These are legends. Vitherson says, uh, "I'm out. See you soon." Thank you so much, Vitherson. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, guys. Um, one more thing I, I want to say about the the retired thing. It's like you cannot diminish a player's performance and skill when compare when when like the, okay what i'm trying to say there's a difference between teams and players i get it and when you're celebrating a guy like henrik lundqvist you're celebrating the player not the team that he played for you can argue yeah if he was so good they would have won a cup but that's not how team games work like the the nhl is it's, it's no i agree but, and it's just it's the same thing i guess for nba you know like charles barkley for example amazing player just never want to Never won a trophy. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, uh, you know, Allen Iverson never won uh, an NBA championship. Are you serious? Iverson never won? No. Nope. Wow. So I, I, I get the argument. I definitely get the argument. And that's why I think, you know, it's fair. It's fair. Mm -hmm. um, Are you serious? Iverson never won? Yeah, Iverson never won. Wow. Oh, it's a four-on-one. Jesus of Lord. <laughs> 
A save from Primo <laughs> Blocker four, side. Another save pad. A four on one. I, yeah, I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> four on one. What are you doing? How the hell that Four happen? on one. <laughs> Your, the defense was the forward. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gold Slush says it would be more entertaining if Manny was here. Yeah, I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit him up later. I'm yeah, gonna what's ask up him, with what's Manny? What's going eh? on? Vancouver what's going on, my boy? Time, uh, yeah, what's going on, Vancouver time? My boy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't get enough one. We have the NFL stream playing right next to us. Still 17-17. Very tight game, and this is basically deciding factor for who's going to get to the Super Bowl, and it's the championship for the conference. Well, deciding factor, I mean, it's who's going to go to the Super Bowl? What do you mean, deciding factor? Well, it's like the, the game that decides who goes to the no, Super Bowl. No, 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 but I mean, when you say deciding factor, you're saying like there's other factors associated to this no, one. I just, I'm stating that it's a factor. It this is the factor. Defect. Yeah, you have a you have a piece of hair on your eyebrow oh, or on your you, eye. Man. Sorry, on your eye. Oh my god. Yeah. You see, I I look I I look uh, I, I take care of you like that. You take care of me. You give me yeah. facials. Wow. That's what? So cool. What? Bro, what the hell? Yo, how did you <laughs> say that, you bro? Say? What the? F what the? F <laughs> <laughs> you say? I, yo, I love making you uncomfortable, man. It's the funniest thing ever. Uh, Jad Albatal says, I'm surprised that Monty starts the game after letting in six goals in two periods. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand Jashan's decisions. At the end of the day, I Guys, think it's... Guys, he had, Rom he had Romanov playing with Widen today. I don't mind that. On the third defense. On the third. Again, I don't I don't mind that, to be fair. Like, what are y'all smoking over there? I man? think what makes no sense to me is... Even Pitlick on the fourth line. The guy has literally been our yeah. top scorer. Yeah. Like, bro. <laughs> but, like, like putting Pitlick with Pizzetta and Paling, like, that's a cool line. Hoffman, Dauphin, Gallagher, that's a whatever line. Byron, Evans, Anderson. Like, our, our two first lines why, are not why bad. Is, why is Dauphin on the third line, not Paling? Because Paling, in my opinion, Paling is better than Dauphin. I don't think I don't think that's how they, you, you, you treat these lines. I think one, two, three, four, it's not a matter of best line to worst line. It's just a matter of putting the best players together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. I feel you. Like, sometimes you'll have three solid lines that could all be second lines, but you just have to put them one, two, three. Or two, three, four. I feel you. I feel you. Four minutes left in uh, the Habs game and four minutes left in the NFL game. Uh, actually, two minutes left. We have a more updated one over there. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you're going to see everything late. No, I'm, I'm just not going to pay attention to this right here. Sure. Don't pay attention to it, but uh, it's still there. You're not going to tell me? No, I'm going to tell you. The Canadians have pulled the goalie with four minutes left, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. Oh, and it's already cleared out. I think it's, it's already a, a goal. It's a goal. Oh, he's going to do a wraparound. Oh, my God. I hate this situation. Oh, oh no goal. <laughs> oh, and a shot. Completely no goal. Right. No goal. <laughs> Oh That's my god, funny. who missed that? They're gonna get made fun of. No, 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 that was a uh, bouncing puck too. Bouncing puck, Boquist. Shot that one. Toffoli finding his way in the neutral zone. Oh, Hoffman. Oh, shot! A and a save! Save. Oh my god, Toffoli passing it back to Wyman. Shoot Wyman. it! Taking a shot, gets blocked out in front. Toffoli. Ah, bouncing ah, he puck. Bouncing on puck, it. puck, bouncing puck. And a shot, and Hoffman can't keep it in. Damn. Oh my god, guys. Imagine, man. Look at this, too. <laughs> First Just down. Man. Look how close they are. Oh, nice defense. Ay, ay, ay. Puff off, man. And the Canadians will have an icing call and they get to stay in their zone. Guys, I'm gonna. Once the game is done, I'm gonna lower this down. Uh, hold on a sec. Make it smaller, make it smaller. No, 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 I was gonna make it bigger. Because, I mean, you know, you guys get to see what's, uh, what's going on in the NFL game. You see if you see this. You know what I'm saying? It's there, no, it's not. Well, and then you guys, will, they'll be able to follow along, like, with the down. Mm -hmm. um, Avalanche are up one nothing apparently. Uh, are up 2-1. Spud Lee, congratulations and for you. Oh, and it looks like it's gonna be six. And line A scores. You, you know, six, you know that's a crazy three. goal when it's a two on zero on an empty net. Two on zero. I like how they had to pass it. Like you know. No, because there was a defense. I get there. it. I get yeah. it. But there you go, guys. Six three. At this point, it's game over. But you know what? I have to say, 
If the Canadians had not collapsed in the first period, completely different game, man. 33-33. Like, the literally? Shots. The 33-33. Like, uh, they, they, they played a lot better, man. They played a lot better than uh, at least this third period. I'll give it to them. The third period, the Canadians stepped it up. But, man, just not a good enough start, man. Terrible starts that we've been having the last few games. Yeah. 3 nothing start. 3 nothing. Like, you can't, ha you can't play like this. So Dower says, Cassian running our goalie yesterday and not a single Habs player st sticking up for him sums up what's going on in Montreal. Nothing good. Yeah. I, I still, I, I honestly, I still can't get over that. I can't get over oh, that. Oh, for me. Oh, look at that. If I'm Jeff, I'm Jeff, Jeff Gordon, Gordon. And Ken Hughes right and now. And Ken Hughes. If I'm them, I am not. I, I, I think it's, uh, for me, at least Petrie-wise, I think that's the sign for him to go. No matter what. No, I, I disagree a bit. I well, for him to go, he needs to go. No, no, no matter whether it's his fault or the fault of COVID or whatever his fault, I'm just saying that probably for both teams, for both parties, it's probably better for him to leave. That's my opinion. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? sadly. I th There's I th no other way around it. I think for the sake of his health too, he needs to be in the States with his family. Sure. Paling. Finding his way, Pitlick out in front, gets deflected, scramble in front. They're trying to get a handle on it, and it gets cleared out again. Oh, oh! Do the Canadians have an empty net again? No, I don't think so. No, we don't. They would I think they, they would uh, yeah, they don't. They, I think it's literally just for the scoreline. They don't want it to be 7-3. But, yeah, the game's over. The game's over, folks. Um, there we go. Um, Marissa DeVore, can I still play Ale Montréal Gohorn? You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We'll play it. Uh, Spudley3 says it's a good goal. So it looks like Avs are up 2-1. Uh, Jad Alvital says uh, Pezzetta fought Cassian. Yeah, he, he got absolutely pummeled. But he got one good shot on Cassian that left him bloodied up. And I think that's why Cassian gave him a few yeah, after, you know? Because yeah. he's just like, you motherfucker, you, like, you made me bleed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like a Thanos now. Like, you don't make me bleed. It's like it just destroys him. So Dower says sickening. Yeah, it's uh, that's that's a good way to put it. Anyone has any interesting adjectives that they like to describe the Canadians at this point? Um, abject. That's a, that's one I use. Abject, horrific. I would just say spineless. Um, uninspiring. Uninspiring. Uninspiring is a good word. 17-17, still, 49ers and Rams, nothing new there. Probably going to go to OT for the, for the yeah. NFL game. Oh, and here we go, and they're going to pass it across, a tic-tac-toe, they don't finish. Oh, what another chance, and it goes wide off pre Can you guys tell from my body language how much I care about... Oh my god, I just checked the score, no, it's 17-20 for the Rams. No, oh, and the Rams score a, a freaking field goal. No, and the Rams are up twenty to seventeen. We need the 49ers in the finals. Well, there's two minutes. Two minutes is a lot of time. Oh, there's two minutes left. Yeah, I, that's that's enough to win the game. Oh, I thought it was over. Oh no no, they got a lot of time left. Look, it's still seventeen. Oh, 17. and there's a hit there, and it looks like Gallagher's gonna get into a fight. Yo, we need open ice hit here. We needed Gallagher to be. Let's like take a look at. Let's take a look at what happened shit. there. And looks like there's going to be a penalty coming up to Gallagher. Oh, no. Penalty for, for holding. Penalty mm. for the guys. Penalty for Columbus for holding. Let's see. Are the Canadians going to pull the goalie? No, nah, I don't think so. But it's going to be 5 on 4 for the remaining 25 seconds. I would pull the goalie. Let's see, let's see what happens here with Gallagher. So he gets held. And, uh, yeah, that's full on holding. Yeah. That's full And, on and I think Gallagher just goes to punch him right after. I think that's what caused the issue after. Um, so there you go. 20 seconds left on the clock. Let's run this out. Let's put this away. Put it in a box. Never look at this game again. Because the Canadians have just lost 6-3. to three. So there you go, folks. Habs lo lose. Oh, and a save. Sorry. I Yeah, you're right. I forgot to say it was the third period. There you go. I corrected it with three seconds left in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. There you go, folks. And uh, okay, when the game's over, we, we flip yes, sir, one hundred percent. We flip it to the NFL game to see what's happening there, guys. For those who watch, yes, sir. 
Regardless, though, it's sadly looking like the LA Rams are about to Oh, and a win. shot by Lekkonen goes wide. And there you have it, folks. That's the end of the game. The Habs lose. And the Habs surprise, lose. Surprise, surprise. There we go. Uh, you know what Where's my review for this game is? Nothing crazy. Habs did exactly what they did last game. Honestly, pretty First shit period. game. First Literally, period. and the same player sta stood, standed out like last game. Yeah. So at that point, no comment. I don't even know what to say about the Habs. It's kind of sad. I don't care anymore, but we kind of hope for the best, but I just don't care. Don't care? I Like you do? What is there to I care mean, about right now? For me, it's not just like caring. It's just like there, there's nothing to think more than just let's move on to the next season. And, but, you know, we still got, you know, 40 more games to go, 35 more games to go. Yeah. It's going to be a long period of time, man. That's that's what's annoying. We don't we can't just skip the next season and and you know reap the benefits of, you know, whatever um, whatever people that we can get in the draft. I mean, we're going to have to deal with this. Yeah. And uh, right now I just I just put up the uh, the 49ers game. Uh, I put up the little uh, little stats and everything hopefully you guys will uh, tune in for the rest of the game um, so here we go I'll put this right here people are saying that uh, you know maybe this was Petrie's last game with the Canadians yeah. wouldn't surprise me not last game I mean you know they have a week now so mm -hmm. could be it really could be but I mean I'd be surprised if they'd get rid of him so early so now we go to Hmm, where are they playing at? One, two, zero, one. There we go. One minute oh, left. And it looks like maybe the Rams made an interception here. Or a s oh, Rams intercepted. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. No, look, they did look, 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 look. <gasps> yes, yes. Is That's why they're, yes. That's why they're cheering. No, no, I think it just, it, it, they, they no, pushed no, no. him back. Look. Look where the ball goes. Oh my god. Right into the Rams' hands. Oh my god. And there goes the 49ers season. Oh my what wow. a bad play. He should have just he just just dropped with the with the ball at that point. Like the NFL game is on CTV or Fox if you have Fox. Wow. There you have it, folks. Looks like the Rams are going to the Super Bowl. Wow. Wow. Guys. Interception with one minute to go. They're probably going to take a knee now and just Oops. finish out this game. Oh. Take that. And oh, no. you can't. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, yeah, leave it there. Perfect. There you have it, folks. The final timeout from the... Uh, the LA Rams. Like, all the, the all, the, all the fan bases are just... All the fans are just going crazy. Wow. What a crazy game. Wow. Soul Dower says, "Have a good night, boys. See you next game. Good Thanks game. for watching. Thank you so much, Soul Dower. Appreciate you. If Hope, you haven't, uh, guys, make sure to subscribe and like. We appreciate all of you so much. Guys, thank you so much. Jad Albatal, Ali Montreal, please get your phone out. What? Oh, they want to yes. hear it. Yes. Play Ali Montreal. This or next game. We're, you know what? We're gonna play both games. All right. We're gonna we're gonna leave it like our outro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ali Montreal. There we go. With the Remitly app. With the Remitly nice. App. Nice cool. ads. I'm just so sad about the Niners right now, too. It's a double, like, double my team. Yeah, double L on me. It's the only thing we could do. All, only thing we could do. Wow. Gone, yeah. Gagne, Gagne. And there you go. That's the end of the Rams game too. With that, guys, thank you so much for staying with us during the stream and watching us sadly react and very and and, and just well, not a fun game. Neutral, not a fun game. unemotional. And there you have it, pain. Folks.
now you have some random Mexican, Mexican baseball that's coming up on the screen. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, Marissa DeBoer, I hope that made you happy. Jared yes, Albatal, yes. I hope that made you happy too. Ali Montreal. And, as uh, much as we hated that game, Ali guys, Montreal. like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. Join us for our next game. Yes. February 8th. The Montreal Canadiens are playing the New York Islanders. Let's go, Habs. Let's see if this week changes a lot. Uh, I have a feeling that Kent Hughes is going to be speaking a lot more this week. Petrie might get news on his uh, on his trade status. A lot of players' trade status. We'll see and, what happens. Um, we'll see where it goes from there, guys. Much we are love. Tuning out. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so much, everyone. Love you guys.